Yes, good morning, audience. Let's put the chapa to the act, okay? Yes, we have already completed our act. We have a very good uh, drafted, uh, legally understandable act called as a fruit act. Let's put a chapa to the act and let's make it official. Okay. The point is very simple. You have already created an act, but you are the ministry of it. You are the ministry of it. As a ministry, you have decided that you wanted to create an act. You drafted an act. Just because you drafted and kept it in your pocket, will it become an act? No. It has to be officially implemented. Yes. Will it be officially implemented by your ministry or will it be done by the whole parliament? It has to be done by the whole parliament. Yes or no? Yes. It goes through a step process. It goes through a step process. You need to follow that step process properly. Yes. What is the step process is what we are going to discuss. When you have a fruit act in your hand, when you have a fruit act in your hand, it's a drafted document. But it's not official. It's not official. Unless and until it becomes official, this will not be called as a fruit act. It will not be called as a fruit act. We will name it something else called as fruit bill. We will name it something called as fruit bill. So what happens is when a ministry prepares something, when a ministry prepares something, they don't prepare a fruit act. They prepare a fruit bill. This bill will be done by the ministry and then sent to the parliament. Sent to the parliament. In the parliament, the head of the ministry, in our case, finance minister is the head of ministry of finance. Ade Mari, your ministry of agriculture or affairs will have some minister. That minister will then stand on the stage and come and say, buy your beno or whatever English they want. This is the newly introduced fruit bill. Let me take you through on an overview level. Understand they will not, you know, read the whole thing. They will give you an overview. They will give you an overview where they will come and say, here is the fruit bill. Here is the fruit bill which my ministry has implemented and my ministry feels like this is important for India. This is important for India. Facts are clear? Yes. I am telling you something from our side, it will automatically get reflected for income tax also. Same logic, same things. Yes. So what is happening is one of you being the head of ministry will stand before the parliament and come and say, I am introducing something called as fruit bill. This is what the salient features are. I want it because of this, this reason. This is what I am planning to implement. This is what I am planning to implement. Yes or no? Yes. Now this happens on one day. This happens on one day. After the day is over, after the day is over, immediately it will become an act, correct? Huh? Will it immediately become an act? No, no. Now what will happen is, understand you have prepared the bill as a ministry. Now you are representing whole of India. So whole of India should also get an opportunity to look at it, yes or no? Yes. They also should do protest, they also should do uh, all this unshun and all, go stand on the road, break chairs and all those things. Something has to happen, no? you have to give them time, right? Yes. So time will be given then. So what will happen is, you will first give a bill, put it in the Lok Sabha. And come and say, this is the bill which I am introducing. I am placing it before you. Have it. I am placing it before you. Have it. Lok Sabha will do what? It will place the bill officially notified to everyone in India. Saying that, yes, this is a new bill which has been introduced. Look at it. Give me your recommendations. Tell me if you feel there are some mistakes, some English error, some drafting error, something which you want to clarify. Whom will they give it to? The whole nation. The whole nation. And then uh, suggestions will be received from the whole nation. Whether you want to make some changes, don't want to make some changes and all those things. Yes. Those suggestions will then be taken up. And then given to the ministry. Ministry will then look into the suggestions and see if they want to make some further changes or they want to leave it as it is. At the end of the day, the decision is of ministry only. So you people will only decide. You want to take up what the market is saying, you can take it up. Or else you can ignore it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes or no? Yes. Then you will have a second session in Lok Sabha. You'll have a second session in Lok Sabha. In the second session, you'll come and say, yes, I gave a bill to you one month back, two months back. You took the bill, you introduced it. You asked for suggestions. I got the suggestions. Based on the suggestions, this is the final draft of the bill. This is the final draft of the bill. So what is happening? First, you had a bill, gave it for suggestions. Then you'll get a final bill. Then you'll get a final bill. Yes or no? Yes. Now you got a final bill. What will you do? Someone has to approve. Someone has to approve. Where are you sitting right now? You are sitting in the lower house, meaning Lok Sabha. So then you will place it before Lok Sabha and come and say, from my ministry, this is the final bill. This is the final bill. Dear members, please approve. Dear members, please approve. Who will approve? All Lok Sabha members. All Lok Sabha members. Rahul, does it have to be a unanimous approval? No does not have to be unanimous approval. It is enough if it is majority. It is enough if it is majority. And that is why today, whenever a bill gets passed, it will always be assumed as passed only because 
majority sitting with only one person there yes the whole party is only one person so therefore no one objects no one objects in today and all when you go and you check the lok sabha meetings and all no you will not even see persons asking for votes the speaker of the lok sabha will simply come and say this is the bill anyone in favor raise hands anyone not in favor raise hands time me kudukla single line anyone in favor raise hands anyone not in favor raise hands the bill is introduced full stop that's all done 3 seconds work that's all is happening now also go check go check you will find because he knows no one is going to object avanga object panalo it will only be those people who are minority community majority will only be in favor of the bill because bill is passed by bjp bill is passed by bjp majority is also sitting in bjp therefore nothing will be objected nothing will be objected lok sabha will automatically pass it off lok sabha will automatically pass it off that is what is today happening logically speaking yes they can object they can object meaning if the majority comes and says i don't want it i don't want it then the bill will be rejected and then you will have to pass a fresh bill yes now lok sabha passed it next it will go to the upper house it will go to the upper house called as rajya sabha now what is so special about this lok sabha and rajya sabha understand when you do elections when you do elections you appoint a lok sabha member when lok sabha does an election they appoint a rajya sabha member yes so what happens is it is not always true that rajya sabha will have majority it can so happen that lok sabha members are appointing rajya sabha so rajya sabha members may have an equal proportion also it may so happen that they may have equal congress equal bjp which means their decisions will be more logical their decisions will be more logical yes or no yes there the members which are getting appointed are appointed by lok sabha members so they will make the decision they will make the decision rajya sabha members will then be passing the same bill passing the same bill at this point of time rajya sabha can do three things they can either accept the bill they can either reject the bill or they can send it back to lok sabha and come and say this is my suggestions change it and bring it back change it and bring it back so accept reject and modify accept reject and modify yes or no yes rahul assuming rajya sabha also passed it will then go to president it will then go to president for 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 signature ha huh? sure sure will it go to president for approval no will go to president for assent rahul what is the difference assent means you are notified assent means you are notified unukku poi inform panirken that sir rendu members ho pass panitaanga this is for your information fii fii president cannot approve the moment you give a power to president to approve it means president can also reject yes or no can the president reject a bill no no president is simply a dummy piece here in india president has no job other than to be a dummy piece yes all decisions are made by most likely most likely all decisions are made by prime minister presidents are a dummy model in india they have no roles and responsibilities except for coming and informing that yes i am going to sign it that's all yes they came and said all decisions will be made by prime minister but all signing will be done by president avula da avunoda vela yes so you give it to president only for assent you go and inform the president that sir two houses have passed it take it this is for your information sign it and give it to me back sign it and give it to me back rahul president is not happy with the bill he does not want to sign what will happen president is not happy he says no no i am not happy i am a congress member i don't want to sign what will you do what will happen ah huh? sorry it won't get passed apona that is approval only no he can say that not really no he is that dummy of a piece that if he does not sign it then it will be assumed as passed presidents are given 14 days for putting their sign on it presidents are given 14 days to put their sign on it if they sign it within 14 days it will be passed on the day on which he signs if he does not sign it within 14 days 15th day it will be assumed to be that's all that is what is called as assent 
that is what is called as assent he has no role to play he has no role to play which is why actually when it goes to president you know, next day itself will get signed normally you will see that always what will happen is they will send it to him on 30th march so 31st march you will get a notification saying it is passed because he has to only put his sign nothing else for that will he spend time on it no he doesn't even have a job on this yes he can give recommendations i'm not denying it he can give suggestions recommendations which can be amended which can be amended but he cannot reject the bill as such he cannot reject the bill as such it will be given to him only for assent and for signatures and for signatures rahul apo signature na prime minister also can do no a prime minister has better job to do in life no he has to make decisions no he is so much occupied president is free only nothing and to do only to sign so let to one person sign let one person person sign his job is only to sign that is what his job is apart from that yes you may have heard big big things a president is called as the first citizen of india a president is the person who makes decisions on defense and all those things solradhukku solvanga kadasila ellame avan da paakkararu yes nothing is done by the president all dummy piece only yes point is very simple please understand a president only has the authority to assent he does not have the authority to approve he does not have the authority to sorry <coughs> let's assume president gave an assent now what let's assume president gave an assent now what now the bill becomes an now is when the bill becomes an act now is when the bill becomes an act yes or no yes but rahul president signed it will you know will india know no it has to be put somewhere it has to be put somewhere we have something called as an official very good we have something called as an official gazette in this official gazette it will be notified saying yes president has signed it this is the bill which he has signed it now the bill will be called as an act now the bill will be called an act you have to follow the whole process for you to get an act in place for you to get an act <coughs> think about it and tell me rahul all this process will happen in one day's job it'll happen in one month takes time definitely takes time it takes about 2 3 months it takes about 2 3 months which is why think about it if you have to make an amendment in an act it will happen tomorrow itself correct huh? if you have some mistakes in the act it takes a hell lot of time to change the act it takes a hell lot of time to change the act and everyone is given a special time in like okay it's not like today you found a mistake 2 months later you can change it no understand lok sabha does not work every time you have heard about this right there are two summer sessions and two winter sessions and the sessions la matta da avanga vela panvanga adha thavara they will be sitting in their own states understand no? lok sabha members are nothing but state members so if you travel all the way from state and come to lok sabha and sit and take the votings yes or no yes so they are only working for two summer sessions and two winter sessions apart from that they will not be working they will not be working so if you have to make a change in an act it does not happen right away it takes time you have to wait for the next session to happen yes or no yes or no in which case which is why we have this thing called rules which is why we have this thing called rules where if you want to change something and you want to change something immediately if the powers are given by the act the rules itself can do it because rules can be done by you itself who are you you are the ministry or the board of fruit affairs you are the ministry or the board of fruit affairs you have been given authority saying if there are small items which are not act related but are more implementation related you itself go and change it off when you want to do it you can do it right away you can do it right away you don't need anyone's approval except for your ministry except for your ministry you are cbd uh, cbfa you can go to your ministry of agriculture and come and say i am cbfa this is what i am proposing to change in the rules please approve it if ministry approves it it will go to an official gazette automatically right away it will get implemented right away it will get implemented that is how fast it comes to rules now tell me which one is faster rules is faster but does it mean that rules can change everything no it has to follow make sense now makes sense no yes or no yes this is the whole process this is the whole process but yes think about it think about it rahul i need to make a change act la change panida agno it's very important very critical i cannot wait for a session to happen i cannot wait for a session to happen now what to do what to do can you do something can you do something yes we have a thing called as ordinance we have a thing called as ordinance ordinance is basically where what they are coming and saying is if you want to make a change right away and you cannot wait for a session to happen you cannot wait for a session to happen a special power is given to the ministry to pass something called as ordinance to pass something called as ordinance ordinance is nothing but an interim resolution so where what they'll do is they'll come and say this act is ordinated and implemented today itself and implemented today itself in this they'll not go for approvals and all no lok sabha no rajya sabha no directly send it to president directly approved 
directly sent to president directly approved passed an ordinance today itself will come into picture act will change act will change Apo, this looks easier no why are people doing act this looks easier no no understand this is an interim resolution meaning what will happen is today ordinance will come today ordinance will pass from today it becomes implemented but in the next session in the next session they will come and inform that i passed an ordinance like this i need your i need your approvals i need your approvals then it will go to the process lok sabha rajya sabha president if at any point of time lok sabha or rajya sabha comes and says no no i don't like this ordinance i don't like this ordinance they can reject it later they can reject it later the day when they reject it it will be not valid from the first day itself it will be not valid from first day itself but if they approve it it will be valid from the day on which ordinance was introduced we call it as ratification we call it as theater king line the word contract act lendru gom where minor you would have learnt it in principal agency relationship principal agency relationship minor also maybe principal agency relationship where they what they come and say is if an agent takes a decision on behalf of minor it is assumed as done on behalf of principal later on principal will have to ratify all those principal will have to ratify all those you will have something similar when you learn law also companies actually they will come and tell you directors can do something on a right away basis and then later on shareholders can go and ratify it if the powers are not with the directors all those things happen yes so this is called as an ordinance this is called as an ordinance background clear background clear so i am not telling you that act cannot be changed i am telling you act can be changed also just that it will take a lot of approvals it will take a lot of approvals therefore you have to be very smart when you create an act when you create an act only mention what you want don't mention how you want because how you want can be done by rules also how you want can be done by rules also if you put the how you want in the act it becomes a bigger problem it becomes a bigger problem because tomorrow changing that will become a nightmare yes or no yes or no yes or no please be careful about that please be careful about that that is why going forward you will be able to understand properly whether something should be there in act or something should be there in rules polama polama same process gets followed for every act same process gets followed for every act like i said income tax act got introduced in 1961 after that every time we had finance act finance act but it was never a finance act first it was always finance bill it was always finance bill so what got passed is finance bill then went to lok sabha then went to rajya sabha then went to and then became same thing happened for you also finance bill 2023 came then it went to lok rajya and then president in order to become an act to 2023 which you are reading right now which you are reading right now now let me answer your question rahul why for november attempt finance bill 2024 is not applicable think about it what got passed on 1st february is not finance act it is finance bill it is right now under suggestion phase it is right now under suggestion phase the bill has gone to us where we are looking into the bill and trying to find out if there is any mistakes in the bill any changes we want to make and we are giving suggestions that will go for one more month that will go for one more month february 1st it came this full month we will give suggestions march 1st it will be sent to lok sabha and will be informed that in lok sabha yes these are all the suggestions which has come dear ministry of finance check and tell if you want to have it or if you want to ignore it lok sabha will take another 15 20 days 2021 to kitak lok sabha will approve rajya sabha will then approve then go to president by 31st march it will get implemented by 31st march it will get implemented yes or no yes or no uh, you can still ask me no rahul for november attempt 6 months prior alone is not there no so 30th april variku irukka the changes you can take right you can take changes to 30th april so this also should be taken ask yourself a question this finance bill which is getting passed this finance bill is getting passed for which year it's getting passed for fy 24 25 it's getting passed for fy 24 25 agreed not agreed agreed yes now when it is getting passed for fy 24 25 you are writing exam for november 24 at that point of time the year is already over yes sir is the year already over no you have time till march 25 you have time till march 25 which means have you earned all the income on november 2024 when you write your exams have you earned all the income do you know how much tax to pay can you pay tax apo should you have that that is why you have 23 24 that is why you have 23 24 rahul apo may la kuda apindana e may fourth varaiku march already munjichu so which means financial year is over they can still let you compute taxes agreed not agreed 
which is why whenever you have an exam for May and November, there is one finance bill which gets implemented, which is the FY bill, which is the FY bill, correct, not correct. Yes, in simple words, Rahul, if Finance Bill 2023 came, Finance Act 2023 came, it was for FY 23-24, for which you will write your exams of May 24 and November 24. Yes or no? Yes or no? In simple words, in simple words, tomorrow if you go for an interview, tomorrow if you go for an interview and they come and tell you, tell me what is the tax rate of India? Tell me what is the tax rate of India? You will ask them. Year. You will ask them which year do you want it for? You will ask them which year do you want it for? They say yes, I want it for FY 23 24. In that case, you will come and say, Show me Finance Act 2023. You will say Finance Act 2023. Please be smart about this because please understand when you write your exam in November and when you clear in Jan, when you apply for your articleship, that time Finance Act 2024 would have already passed. Are you aware about it? Pachar king la. Paddi kle na pachar king hai. 23 dena pachar king hai. Yes, article ship pomo de enna ago. Aamad didi na 24 od amendment ketta niya na banwa. Yes or no? You have to be smart about it. Don't come and jump to answers. Don't come and jump to answers because you may tell a number to him. And he will suddenly think in the number yenge pachar na. Because for him what will happen? He is already in practice. He already knows what is in 2024 also. Then he will come and say maybe you know old things. Will you get selected? Will you get selected? No. You have to be very smart when you answer questions. You have to tell him very clearly that, sir, if you are asking me something, first let me know whether you want it from 24 or 23. He says, yes, I want it from 24. You can be honest and come and say, I'm sorry. Maybe I did not get time to read 24. I will read it and come back to you on a later day, but don't take that as a consideration. Honest thought. answer He will come and assume you don't know the subject itself, which is more risky. It is not wrong to give assumptions. It is wrong to give wrong answers. Yes or no? Don't assume what the other person knows. That is not your job. That is not your job. Get all facts clear before you make your decisions. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. Any doubts? No. Last thing. Last thing. Rahul, current year. Current year. I don't know how many of you are aware about it. Generally, finance bill gets passed on 1st February. Generally, finance bill gets passed on 1st February. But this time, this time when the finance bill was passed, everyone was always coming and telling it as interim budget, interim budget. Ketri King love. Yes, last year and all they called it as budget. This year they're calling it as. What is so special? Very good. Please understand, whenever there is an election year, whenever there is an election year, the problem what happens is on 1st February, on 1st February, the budget which is supposed to be passed will be passed by the existing party. But in all practical sense, what can happen? The party can change. Now imagine a scenario where what happens is the party which is ruling right now knows for sure that they're going to lo lose. Knows for sure that they're going to lose. What will they do? They will pass all wrong things and go. Yes or no? Yes or no? In that case, what will happen? The person who then comes back, like as becomes the new ruler, he will have a problem because he cannot pass two finance bills. Just to change that one, he cannot pass two. It will look very ugly on India. Yes or no? Yes or no? So what they did is they came and put a special provision where they came and said every time when there is an election year, every time when there is an election year, I am itself telling you that going forward, whenever there is an election year, there will be two budgets which will be passed. There will be one budget will be passed by existing party. One budget will be passed by existing party which will be called as interim budget, which will be called as interim budget. After the party elections happen, after the elections happen, a second budget will be passed by the Winning party. New owners are real. BJP can come back again. Yes, by the winning party. By the winning party. If we, even if it is BJP, that's not a problem. Even if it is BJP, that is not a problem. They will also have to pass a second budget because what happened is they came and clarified it's an interim budget, which means any decisions which the ruling party will make will only be made for a matter of four or five months. They will not make it for the whole year because elections are happening in April, May. Elections are happening in April, May. So they bring it in Feb. It is only applicable. It starts only from April. So they only make it for April and May. That's all. They don't make it beyond that. They don't make it beyond that. After elections get over. No, one second. They make it for a few more months also. Because understand elections. Results for August. I don't know. Yes. So they make it for April, May, June, July. And then August, the second budget will be passed. The second budget will be passed. In that second budget, if they want to make further changes, they will bring those. 
they will bring those or if the new party comes into picture they will come and say yes i don't like what the earlier parties have done i want to revise budgets like this like this like this like this purida purilia yes so what happens is in all elections here you get two finance act you get two finance act income tax amendments come in two finance act and you have to read both you have to read both you are the lucky people because for you it is finance act for you only one budget for you only one budget for any of my friends who are planning to write may 25 and november 25 you will have to read two finance acts you'll have to read two finance act one is finance act number one one is finance act number two both are the same finance act it will be called as finance act 2024 finance number two act 2024 rendu padikno rendu me mandatory because interim budget and final budget background clear hello yes that is what the whole background is that is what the whole background is clear not clear clear now for income tax purposes like i already clarified income tax will never get an amendment income tax will never get an amendment irka the ella amendment of income tax will come in finance act so finance act will come and tell you what amendments to make in income tax then automatically it will be assumed as a part of income tax it will be assumed as a part of income tax but in all practical sense if you tell someone that you want income tax act 1961 he will give you the 1961 act which will have all the old laws you have to make it very clear that you want income tax act 1961 amended up to finance act 2023 you have to make it very clear you have to make it very clear if the person is a smart person you come and tell him you want income tax act he will give you the 1961 act and come and say here is the act which you go then you are screwed when you are screwed you will not be able to find anything in that because everything will be old then and all if you read no the tax rate will come and say eight annas five percent ten annas ten percent what is annas no one go there yes or no yes those are old currencies those are old currencies so be very clear about the fact that when you ask someone about a income tax and you ask someone about the tax rates you have to ask them the right question the right question is you want income tax act 1961 amended up to finance act your choice your choice it depends on what kind of questions are being asked if they come and say i want it for financial year 24 25 you will say finance act 2020 clearer clearer everyone yes so general thought keep it in mind that if you are going to write an exam for may 24 and november 24 your finance act is finance act 2020 one year back one year back 24 23 25 yes i will keep asking this question every single class every single class you are writing for which financial year you're writing for which finance act it is important if you want to clear november keep it in mind if not your choice Seria. Seria. Yes, so two things we have learnt. This is how our finance act is now coming into picture. We have put a chapa and now this has officially become a finance. Happy? Ah, sorry, fruit act. It has become a fruit act. Sorry, FF. Yes, it has become a fruit act 2020-24. Yes, we have officially implemented an act. Going forward, if you see tomato, tomato is... Yes. Yes. Going forward, in India, anyone goes and reads, you will tell Sri Pragya has decided that tomato is a fruit. Eggplant is a fruit. We will talk in this lens. 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 Yes, sir. Yes. We will officially do this. We will talk in this lens. 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 Seria, yes, anyway, let's come back. We have completed our fruit loss. We have completed our fruit loss by introducing fruit act. We also somehow did the fruit rules. Somehow did the fruit rules where I came and told you, know, you have to do the MSP, the minimum selling prices in notify panno, the number of fruits which you want, you have to notify, how to make an application and all you have to notify. Paste noma, paste liya. Yes, now rules also looks something similar. Rules also looks something similar when you call it as fruit act 2024 you will also introduce something called as fruit rules 2024 the only thing is different about fruit act and fruit rules is the way of reading it the way of reading it for example if you're reading fruit act if you're reading fruit act and i say it is section 2 i a how will you read this section 2 clause i sub clause a section 2 clause i sub clause a yes or no yes or no when it comes to rules i will call it as let's say it is like this read it now 
रूल थ्री रूल थ्री सब रूल इट इज रूल थ्री सब रूल वन क्लॉज फाइव सब क्लॉज एट सब क्लॉज एट राहुल इन रूल्स कैन बी डायरेक्टली गो टू क्लॉज नॉट रियली Not really. Think about it. You are creating a rule for one item, which means it is all linked. Apo yepo me rule irko moda sab rule vandda ango. There can never be a scenario where you can go to rules and directly clause. Doesn't work. Section labi agla rules le ag mudiya do. Yes, when you create a rule, a rule is for one item. So which means it will be rule three sub rule one. You can never have rule three clause e varad. Na paakar do variko varad. Yes, where do irko na khanda purche cholenga. Ippo dikha. I have never seen a scenario where rule three is having not a sub rule which means rule porta varaiko it is rule sub rule sub clause clause and sub clause clear all clear yes yes rahul what is this clause sub clause it's the same like your word document word document le ninga one potittu ulle edho podnom na a b poduvinga adha that what you put inside is sub section adukku ulle edho podnom na clause adukku ulle edho podnom na adukku ulle edho poda mudiyuma poda mudiyadu poda mudiyadu that is how it will work yes rahul i am creating an explanation I am creating an explanation. Explanation kille one porter kya? Aadha kapro A B C porter kya? What will that be called? We put an explanation here somewhere, no? Inge porto. We said it as for the purpose of this class, product only includes plant-based produce, whether given naturally or approved laboratory. Suppose here I am putting one more A. How will I read this? How will I read this? It will not go to section subsection. It will go to directly. Clause. So this is clause A of explanation one. If at all there is one here, there is nothing given. So we will say clause A of explanation. Clause A of explanation. Yes. So how will you read this? You will read it as clause A of explanation of clause B of section two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is clause A of explanation of clause five. Clause five. Clause B. Whatever it is. Clause B of section number. section number 2 ipo puri da background clear yes now you see how to read a law i'm sorry how to read an act now you see how to read an act yes or no yes yes now one place somewhere we told about this non obstante clause not withstanding anything contained in section number 4 where we came and said if you want to make section 5 as superior to section 4 you will start with not withstanding the wordings of not withstanding is not important what comes later is important what comes later is important you are saying not withstanding anything contained in section 4 which means 5 is superior to only it is not superior to anything else it is not superior to anything else in some cases of income tax you will see it will say not withstanding anything contained in the act itself it means that now becomes it has the biggest weight now it has the biggest weight now some place it will come and say not withstanding anything contrary contained in any other act not withstanding anything contained contrary in any other section abhi na enna artham abhi na enna artham if that thing is aligned to this then no problem but if it is against this then this will become superior wordings are very important wordings are very important read the wordings very carefully if i come and say not withstanding anything contained in any other section it means this is the superior most if i say not withstanding anything contrary contained in any other section it means if they are same then you read it together but if they are opposites then i am superior i am superior clear not clear clear here rahul what if you want to make this section inferior to the other section adum panna you can make one section inferior to the other section also how do you write that how do you write that you write it as inge elnu you write it as subject to the provisions of section 4 the moment you say subject to the provisions of section 4 it means 4 is superior than me 4 is superior than me if 4 says something that is what you have to follow keep that in mind when you read me keep that in mind when you read me don't come and tell i am superior i cannot be followed unless and until section 4 is satisfied unless and until section 4 is satisfied now makes sense now makes sense yes so the not withstanding is called as non obstante clause subject to provision is called as inferiority clause subject to the provision is called as inferiority clause this is how you have to overall read an act this is how you have to overall read an act yes or no yes so in an act what you will find is section sub section clause sub clause provisos explanations non obstante clause inferiority clause 
inferiority loss adu thavara you may also have something called as schedules you may have something called as what is schedules schedules are like annexures schedules are like annexures where you have come and said that there is a big list of items suppose in the fruit definition like you would have not said includes you would have said means in that case fruit would have become exhaustive when fruit has become exhaustive you have to now tell all the fruits can you put it in the act can you go to section 2 and put one by one all the items so what will you do we'll create a schedule so we'll come and say fruit as defined in schedule number 1 and then you'll prepare an annexure called schedule number 1 in that you'll put all the list in that you'll put all the list yes or no yes when you go to gst the first thing which you will be learning is called as definition of supply definition of gst will come and say supply means supply as defined in schedule 1 supply means supply as defined in schedule 1 apdina supply na enna artham schedule 1 padcha adala theriyum but it does not include supply defined in schedule 2 enna va supply means supply defined in schedule 1 but it does not include supply defined in schedule 2 apdina enna artham schedule 1 la inda supply schedule 2 la inda take it out take it out yes or no yes now understand when you are talking about sale of goods and services there will be big list or small list big list adanal section le podu mudiyala that is why they put a schedule that is why they put a schedule make sense make sense everyone yes question rahul schedule is superior or act is superior yeah, sorry aa rendu onu da schedule is superior or section is superior schedule is a part of act so it cannot be superior my question is schedule is superior or section is superior schedule is superior or section is superior section is superior again section is superior if section comes and tells something schedule cannot overturn it unless and until schedule gives a specific power unless and until schedule gives a specific power or example tara when you go to companies act you would have read something called a small company ketrukingla a small company or definition irukku where they come and say small company means a company whose turnover is not more than 2 uh, crorea 40 acha is 40 right now so basically what happened is if you actually eat the section if you actually kele 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 seri doesn't matter pass aiting la porom tappa inda ena certificate thooki poda poringa onnu nadak poradhe illa la apra yes understand if you go and read companies act today if you go and read companies act today companies act will not say 40 crores companies act will come and say small company means a company whose turnover will be as per the defined terms which shall not exceed 200 crores avanga ena solranga na i am not deciding what the small company turnover is enaka porathu varaikum the roc can decide it enaka porathu varaikum the roc can decide it but at no point of time roc can decide a turnover more than 200 crores today the turnover is 40 is it within 200 yes which means what roc is decided is legal tomorrow if roc comes and says small company means a company which turnover is up to 250 crores ad allowed ah no because act has put an overall cap act has put an overall cap where they have come and said overall you cannot have more than 200 crores in that case rule will become invalid adhe mari schedule la aagalam schedule la aagalam sometimes what can happen is you may come and say if you want to make an application you have to pay me a fees they can come and say the fees may be as defined in the schedule but shall not exceed in any case more than 1000 rupees apdi na schedule la can you put a number of 1500 can you put a number of 500 purida yes if the act is giving you special powers to change the schedule then it is permitted but if they put an overall cap schedule will be inferior to the act act na uh, section basically will be inferior to the section clear clear yes now you have an overall idea of how an act and rules look like sir yes ma you understand the notwithstanding right we already discussed it earlier do you understand okay so notwithstanding is a case where i am coming and saying that section 4 i want to introduce something in section 5 which should become superior to section 4 how will i do that i will introduce something called as notwithstanding anything contained in section 4 when you read like this you will now understand the fact that if at all there is something in section 4 forget that first come and look at section 5 okay assuming i want to make a section which is inferior to section 4 what will i put i'll put the line called as subject to the provisions of section 4 now when i put the line as subject to the provisions of section 4 it means padikkum bodu first you should read 4 then you should go to 
then you should go to 5. The order of priority automatically changes. The order of priority automatically changes. Clear? All right. Perfect. Yes, ma'am. Clauses are not related to each other. They are. I mean, it's a part of the subdivision, no? Yes, they are. When you go from section and you don't find anything in the section which is related, then you directly jump to clause because you cannot have a subsection. But when you create a clause, obviously you have to create a subclass to it also. So they are all linked to each other. Yes. yes. Don't get confused by the English people. At the end of the day, imagine your Microsoft Word. When you are typing a document, when you are typing a document, what will you do? You will create a one. Adhukule, you will create an A. Adhukule, you will create Roman numeral one. Adhukule, you will create that uh, uh, bullet. The one which you created is section. The A which you created is subsection. Adhukule, you created Roman numeral, which is class. Adhukule, you created bullet, which is what you did in word document is what you are doing here just that you have put english against it here all of the difference nothing else is the difference okay yes because obviously when you are reading an act you cannot come and say bullet kindly refer bullet to bullet to na enna yes or no so adanalai they are giving you words called as clause and subclause that is the only difference beyond that there is no difference to things clear hello ah, polama polama yes let's come back to our loss we have done what is fruit law in that we have done fruit act fruit rules next is circulars notifications finally case laws now case laws i'm assuming you know i'm assuming what is case laws what is case laws assume panita asing marg what is case loss? Very simple. Tomorrow when an act has created something and the act is not clear and you are not happy with it, what will you do? You will go fight. You will go fight with the person or with the court? You will go fight with the person in the court. You will go fight with the person in the court. Yes. Now, fighting does not mean that you are going and hitting him or hard or anything. Yes, it's not a, uh, it's not a physical fight. It is more of an interpretational fight. It is more of an interpretation fight. Please understand whatever laws we are reading at least right now in CA, in CA are all civil laws. Are all? We are not reading criminal laws. We are not reading criminal laws. So our responsibility does not lie with criminal responsibilities. Our laws only lie with civil responsibilities. Yes. So at no point of time in any of our laws, you will come and see that we can hang someone to death. Cannot work out. Cannot work out. Just because you are evading taxes, at best they can put you in jail. That's all. Yes, there also they cannot sentence you for lifetime imprisonment. Not possible. Not possible. Any civil laws cannot permit you to have a lifetime imprisonment. At the best, what they can do is they can put you a civil imprisonment for maximum 7 years, 10 years. In my income tax, it is 7 years. Okay, maximum 7 the poor mudio. Adhikapro, they cannot put you in jail. Adhikapro, they cannot put you in jail. If they want to put anything beyond that, they have to put a criminal proceeding on you. Like the Satyam scam, they came and said you have done a fraud. That was not under income tax. That was not under accounts. It was done under criminal laws. You have another act for criminal proceedings called, very good, we call it as CRPC, Criminal Procedure Code, Criminal Procedure Code, that is how it is called. Other act is called as CPC, which is Civil Procedure Code. If you want to do something like that, hang someone to death, put him in lifetime imprisonment, kill him off right away, all those things are only done by CRPC. We don't have authorities. We are only discussing a civil law. We are only discussing a civil law. Yes. Now what has happened is I have an interpretational challenge with you. I think something, you think something. Both are having a problem. Let's go and fight in court. Let's go and fight in court. Now I am doing income tax. How will I fight? How will I fight? Generally what will happen is they will not come and say I am today suing you in court. So directly meet in high court. See high court already has too much job. So what will happen is generally any act will first create their own appeal body. Every act will create their own appeal body. For example, if you are running a fruit act. You will create your own appeal body called as Fruit Appellate Authority. Called as Fruit Appellate Authority. Ademari income tax has created two appeal bodies. Income tax has created two appeal bodies. We call them as CIT bracket A. We call them as CIT bracket A. Ah, full form solo papma. At least some words you can find out. A means A means appeal. Ah, T means I means 
இது மட்டும் தெரியும் இல்ல எஸ் லெப்ட் ஆஃப் இஸ் சி சி இஸ் நத்திங் பட் கமிஷனர் சி இஸ் நத்திங் பட் கமிஷனர் சோ த பர்சன் டு ஹூம் யூ வில் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லெவல் ஃபைல் யுவர் அப்பீல் இஸ் கமிஷனர் ஆஃப் இன்கம் டாக்ஸ் அப்பீல்ஸ் commission of income tax appeals i am clarifying it right now itself not relevant for syllabus case laws is not a part of a syllabus but good to know good to know naluk interview pomoda yaar emana ketta koodadu yes we are having the first person who is going to uh, whom you are going to file an appeal is cit a commissioner of income tax appeals raul the decision is passed cit is not in my favor what will you do again fight again fight next level of person which i told you in our body we have created is called as it AT. AT, AT. Now here is where the challenge is. Raul, which T is tax? The second one is tax because Munadi is I. So the, it is income tax. It is income tax appellate authority. It is income tax appellate authority. IT, AT. We call it as ITAT. We call it as ITAT. It is income tax appellate authority. Income tax appellate authority. Yes or no? Yes, Rahul, this person is also not in my favor. Now, you will have no other option but to move to High Court. District Courts are only used for criminal proceedings. We then move directly to High Court. Which High Court will you go to? Depends on where the fight is going on. Depends on where the fight is going on. If you are right now sitting in Chennai and that person is sitting in Delhi, then you now have to make a decision who will take the thing. will take the thing you can decide one of the two you can decide one of the two if you file the appeal you will file it in chennai if he is filing the appeal he will file it in either way works either way works yes or no yes to so the next thing which you will be filing it is to high court raul high court is also not in my favor hit to supreme court hit supreme court is there only in adachi theriyala yes i have been hearing this nonsense from a lot of people where uh, Uh, there was something like this what happened is uh, uh, i think there was some short form ibni no short form and they were playing a normal game in market where they were coming and saying tell me the full form of this tell me the full form of this one of the females on the video came and said ah sc who is supreme court of hyderabad and she was confident matlab fair the 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 male which is sitting next to him is like hey enna da pesra nothing you know what civics do you know i know it is supreme court of hyderabad and that guy is like uh, no i i i have not come with this woman i don't know who she is yes sir yes sir supreme court of hyderabad now yes supreme court in india is only in there is only supreme court there is only one supreme court yes or no yes this full form was something else i don't know what full form it was uh, they were apparently playing a game in a engineering company so this was some engineering related abbreviation am about to edo pesta yes so supreme court is there only in india delhi one place india delhi one place this is our apex court of india this is our apex apex means only one this is our apex court of india rahul supreme court has passed a judgment not in your favor no supreme court has passed a decision not in your favor this becomes the law of the land this becomes the law of the land yes i know i told you about international court please understand international court can only be approached only for cases which are cross border one of the party at least should be a foreign person you cannot go to international court and come and say i am indian he is also indian my india is not helping me it's not possible it's not possible you cannot go to international court and come and say indians and indians are fighting and india is only deciding therefore you come into picture varadu that cannot work out international courts international arbitrations only happen in case when there is a cross border issue vodafone case which i told you was a case with vodafone netherlands adanalae we were able to fight or they were able to appeal they were able to appeal because vodafone netherlands was coming to india and fighting the case they came and said why should i spend so much time supreme court decision moon anadukapram they went to international court and came and said i am not happy with what india is doing i am not happy with what india is doing imagine if it was vodafone india can vodafone india come and say i am not happy with what india is doing you are an indian only what are you not happy with yes or no yes so please understand international court of justice and all is only for foreign categories in inter level you only have indian category people therefore it is maximum high court uh, supreme court it is maximum supreme court you cannot have more than supreme court you cannot have more than supreme court yes or no yes or no yes or no rahul if supreme court passes a decision it is applicable to whole india india is theriyala uh, utre 
yes if supreme court passes the decision it applies to whole of india if high court passes the decision it applies to whole of state it applies to the whole of state rahul can i use delhi high court's decision can i use delhi high court's decision yes refer panna refer panna but my madras high court does not have to rely on him madras high court can come and say yeah i can rely on uh, i i do not have to follow him i can rely on him i can rely on him if he has thought through the process i can take it as a reference but i cannot you cannot come and force me to come and say no delhi passed so you also pass that is not my job that is not my job that is why what happens is sometimes when you see you know one court will come and say allowed one court will come and say not allowed now you are stuck which you, you should follow which you should follow at this point of time they will come and say if the court which allowed is yours then you have to allow if the court which did not allow is yours then you have to not allow that is how it will work out that is how it will work out yes or no yes so supreme court is applicable to whole of india high court is applicable to whole of india itat is applicable to whole of state once again once again itat is also similar to state itat is also similar to state cit is applicable to you and your officer cit is applicable to you and your officer no one can know otherwise no one can know otherwise any decision which is passed by cit will not be informed to anyone in the market no one will know no one will know i cannot know what was decision passed for you so i do not have control itself and i don't even know i cannot even do anything with it i cannot even do anything with it that is how the jurisdictional proceedings will follow at any point of time one can refer another one can refer another but they cannot abide to it they don't need to abide to it they can tell i want to follow an independent choice i can do it on my own but at the same time madras high court cannot do like that judge one of madras high court cannot come and say i don't like madras to judge high court adu varadu yes two people sitting in the same madras high court cannot come and say i don't like this person's face so i will not follow he has to follow he has to follow when your judge itself is coming and saying you have to mandatory follow you have to mandatory follow clear hello keep that in mind keep that in mind polama yes the left two items are your circulars and notification quick question before i ask theriyuma enna nu yaar kaachu theriyuma porta kuda இல்லையா ஒண்ணுமே தெரியாதா இட்ஸ் சேம் எவ்ரி வேர் எனி லா வில் ஹாவ் அ சர்க்குலர் நோட்டிபிகேஷன் வாட் இஸ் இட் இஸ் மை கொஸ்டின் அனௌன்ஸ்மெண்ட்ஸ் இஸ் சர்க்குலர் ஆர் நோட்டிபிகேஷனா ஃபில் இன் த பிளாங்க் சார் announcement to is is what update do you want from income tax in the what do you want to hear from them who got married there is it deadline sir you don't know that act clear again are you assuming things based on english or are you uh, aware about it if you are assuming things based on english also you should have the right answer it's unfortunately not coming my question is very simple have you heard about this word called circular in the past where uh, what is it for passing to whom ask yourself one simple question the circulars which are being notified circulars which are being notified in your school was to tell it to the students or to tell it to the teachers normally normally it was to inform to the management team staffing team and all yes was it applicable to your students not so much not so much generally they will not put anything in a circular which has to be informed to students they will only put those items in circular which has to be informed to yes or no yes or no which means think about it school has passed a circular to inform their own teachers income tax will pass a circular to inform their own who staff staff na piuna officers very good their own officers their own officers now this you understood this you understood my question is what are they going to inform how to work how to walk huh circulars provide information guidance rules and background information adana law what are you doing in act then 
no 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 take the simple example i'm going to draw something no one is supposed to question Mm-hmm. See, I'm getting paid by R, so I'm bored. Four. Sorry, four. Open house discussion. Open house discussion. Looking at the image, what do you think it is? One by one. One by one. One by one. Looking at it, I don't care. It can be anything. you should tell me what you think i don't want open discussions okay you tell me what you think it can be as double meaning as possible i don't care enna indalo okay be honest be honest what came to your mind first time when you saw it is what my question is open house ha huh? sedimentation apni na science ani commerce na yo yo boyfriend science ha பெரிய வார்த்தை எல்லாம் பேசுறிய வாட் இஸ் செடிமெண்டேஷன் கேட்டேன் வாட்டர் இஸ் இட் அச்சா சோ திஸ் இஸ் சம் செடிமெண்டேஷன் டேங்க் ஃபார் கிளீனிங் வாட்டர் Okay, no problem. Good enough. What is the la and the line in our thing? It's okay. It's okay. At least she's trying. Ah, next. Aquarium fish. Acha. And the red color fish. <laughs> Fa. Aquarium. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. One on one discussion. Ma, hey, sure. Blueberry mojito. blueberry it's called moitoma seriya moito ah beakers okay beaker with a straw next 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 quickly 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 swimming pool seri okay <laughs> swimming pool ha huh. polluted water is polluted water seri okay sorry da mock tell with edible straw seri adana blueberry mojito almost similar ing edible straw matra extra potre inda edible straw ha huh. walking sticker why did you put a walking stick inside by the water bottle with the uh, and sorry bottle bucket alone na with walking stick so so கொஞ்சம் நல்லாவா பண்ணிருக்கணும் சரி ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் மாப்ப சரி ஓகே யா சம்திங் லைக் தட் ஓன்லி எங்கேயும் சரி வாட்டர் பாட்டில் வாக்கிங் ஸ்டிக் எல்லாம் ஒண்ணு தான் பக்கெட் இஸ் சேம் திங் சைஸ் மட்டும் மாறுது அவ்வளவுதான் டீ ஓன்லி நோ ஜென்ரலி இட் இஸ் கலர் போட்டிருப்பேன் 
all south bombay girls only no pearls only anything else anything else no blueberry is blue is it i thought blueberry is black in color blackberry is only blue and the confusion is the epomer illiya i always had this confusion whenever you see blueberry it is in black color and you see blackberry it is in blue color ah huh, that's it okay good enough good enough there is this one uh, soda bottle right in which blue will come blue laguna solvanga ketirukingla when you uh, drink that goli soda and all you will have a blue color goli soda it will be called as blue lagoons correct correct something like that great enough okay anything else anyone good to go good to go yes now i gave you a simple quest sorry ma copper sulfate c2so4 then cuso4 cuso4 solution sorry da first word enak puriyala first word enak puriyala solra dei fishing ah adu eppadi red la irukum nee blood kuda sonna avan othirpen that will still be brown in color da anyway i think can we stop with this can we stop with this yes now think about why i asked this question to you i told you that you are the ministry of agriculture you are the ministry of agriculture and you have this item in your hand you have this item in your hand imagine all of you are the ministry of agriculture everyone had a everyone had a different opinion everyone had a different opinion now imagine one scenario where what is happening is you all i gave you a job where i came and said yes you are the ministry of agriculture go to every one one state and sit and you become the officer there you become the officer there yes or no Yes, I'm giving you this a task. I'm giving this task. Become the officer there. Now imagine a scenario. Rahul, right now lives in Chennai, has created this product, has created this product. Yes. The question which has come is, since you are the Ministry of Agriculture, you now need to decide whether it's a legal product or an illegal product. You can have your thoughts. You can have your thoughts. Like for example, if you come and say that yes, Act comes and says if it is something which is chemical in nature, then it's hazardous to India. Therefore, it is banned. If you come and say it is something drinkable and all. you can allow it only up to a certain quantity and if you say it is something which is good for the society then you can allow in any quantity clear yes this is what i have notified in the act where i have come and said hazardous product not allowed drinkable product allowed in certain quantity if it is good for the society then it is fully allowed yes now you are my officers i have sent you to every one one state i have sent you to every one one state yes rahul is starting from chennai rahul is starting from chennai rahul has made this product rahul has made this product and does not know what to do with it can he sell it in full can he sell it in small or can he not even sell it can he not even sell it background clear story clear yes now i started in chennai i started in chennai when i was sitting in chennai one of your officers came one of your officers came and came and said this is a beaker with a glass straw yaar even this is a beaker with a glass straw where will you classify this fully saleable partly saleable not saleable fully saleable so she is saying rahul it is fully saleable because it is looking like a good product it can be used in the market it can be used in the market based on her approval i started the process i started making it in bulk product i started making a bulk product big big products and i made i made a huge business in it i made a huge business in it but because she is a government officer i made her to leave so she was deputed somewhere else transfer achit and someone else came in someone else came in now the person who came in is the person who came and looked at it as polluted body yaar ve so she is my new officer in chennai she is my new officer in chennai by the time she comes to chennai i have already made bulk mass products she comes and looks at my factory and she comes and says what are you manufacturing this looks like polluted water this looks like polluted water would you like me to sell it part sell it or not sell it so she decided raul shut down your business right away shut down business right away i am worried now based on her approval i decided to make mass production 5000 crores worth of products i have made and she is coming and saying rahul 
close everything down 5000 crores for me big loss na apdi uttruvena apdi uttruvena no i know that she is the one who's not happy with me in chennai so what i decided i said anyway i have made the product if i am not able to sell it in chennai let me sell it somewhere else let me sell it somewhere else i made a little further i went to tirupati i went to tirupati in tirupati when i was sitting the officer with the aquarium ah uh, the officer with the aquarium came and said yes looks like an aquarium product looks like an aquarium product you want to she said fully sell no problem sell fully no problem so i decided okay great tirupati fully saleable 5000 crores product i took to tirupati i sold everything i sold everything now i have two base one is in chennai one is in tirupati and i am making so much sales 5000 5000 crores i am making will i be sitting only in these two states i will also move to other locations i will also move to other locations now i move to five different locations move to five different locations kerala andhra karnataka where and all yes one of those locations was the person who looked at uh, uh whatever sedimentation tank yes madam sedimentation tank fully approved not approved part approved full approved no quantity seri so she said fully approved so karnataka i got express approval i am selling fully karnataka i got express approval i am selling fully i went to another place the other place is coming and saying this is c2so4 solution idana uh, part approved full approved part approved so she is coming and saying i can only sell 100 quantity here not more than that not more than that i went to some other place they are coming and saying looks like something drinkable this is a boba drink ah uh, fully fully saleable i went to some other place the person is looking at blueberry mojito with edible straw ah uh, partial sale so she is like no no see boba drink fully saleable blueberry drink partial saleable yes or no yes one more location pending ah uh, swimming pool yaar maaga ena veno fully water bottle with walking stick walking stick e prashna irukku ah ena veno walking stick um seri okay ninga na think about it rahul made one product one state is coming and saying sell one state is saying don't sell one state is saying partial sale we all are sitting in india we all are sitting in india i made one product i want one clarity whether it will be sold or not sold and you people are sitting and breaking my head one person is coming and saying sell one person is saying not sell do you think i can do business do you think i can do business no now understand a simple question you all are a part of one ministry you all should talk one language but you itself are talking different language do you think i can run my business now who is the mistake here you people are the mistake yes or no yes or no i'll give you a simple example i'll give you a simple example imagine one day your stomach is paining you go to a doctor one doctor you go the doctor comes and says yeah no problem stomach pain take two medicines tomorrow will be okay you took two medicines nothing was okay you went to a second doctor ah uh, person comes and says sir big problem big problem there is some big uh, hazardous product in your stomach surgery pannom you said surgery la enala mudiyadha sir injection e paatha bayama irukku you went to a third doctor third doctor comes and says you have got something which you should have not got enake puriyala sounds like sir ena sir pesringa unukku cancer aachu stomach cancer for you you have three more months to live next sir first doctor sonna rendu medicine edtha porom neenga 3 maasam vera solreenga he's like okay three more months na how many more time do i have no three more three more months was three more months before you have three more months to live from when from three months before which means you're dying now you are not trusting anyone what will you do you will suddenly go and hit google stomach pain what are the precautions google will start different level symptoms of stomach pain these are the possible side effects you may be a zombie imagine imagine one small stomach pain four different doctors are telling four different things one person told no problem you live one person is saying you're dying today itself will you be able to work will you be able to run will you be able to survive mind ange poidum yes or no imagine the same example in any law imagine the same example in any law act saying something you did something 
you went to one officer officer is saying great approved one officer is saying not approved one officer is saying i have doubts i have doubts will you be able to work what do you want you want clarity you want clarity do i want clarity or you want clarity you want clarity what will you do you all will go to your mother and come and say dear mom namake purila kaapathrenga who is your mother who is your mother your mother is the central board of fruit affairs you are all ministers but ungalku mele irukkad the board there is one person on the leadership there is one person on the leadership you will go to the leader and come and say dear leader we don't know what to do you tell me what to do you tell me what to do now that person can make a decision now that person can be one of you itself yes or no yes or no that person can be one of you let's assume that the person is this aquarium person she is the leader she comes and says yes enaku porthu varaiku this is an aquarium now when your mom has come and told it is aquarium you will say no it is not or will you say yes it is aquarium now tomorrow if i come to all of you every one of you will come and say this is every one of you will come and say this is fully available now i do i have clarity do i have clarity yes or no yes or no what happened now what happened now your mother came and informed you that yes this is an aquarium what will she do she'll come to every one of your house and come and inform or she will pass a she will pass a circular she will pass a circular the circular will be passed by your mother to clarify that yes this is an issue which has come before me as per my understanding this is what it is this is what it is going forward all my child should only follow this going forward all my child should only follow the circulars are basically a clarification given by cbdt to its own officers a clarification given by cbdt to its own officers on how something should be understood and interpreted how something should be understood and interpreted ipo logic purida yes or no yes or no question question assume that rahul the person who was the cbdt head the person who was the cbdt head is the c2so4 person illa there is no not saleable itself is it ortho kuda illa ah polluted water sorry so the person who is actually the cbdt head is the polluted water person and the cbdt head comes and says this is polluted water going forward all my officer should come and call it as rahul should going forward not sell rahul is happy rahul is happy no what will rahul do rahul will come and say yes mother of cbdt has come and said do no no so i will also not do it correct ah correct ah huh? will rahul follow rahul comes and thinks it can be something else also in this case rahul should rahul should rahul should go to courts yes or no yes or no which means which means even if the cbdt comes and says that this is a polluted water rahul has to agree does not have to agree rahul has to agree does not have to agree does not have to agree rahul does not have to agree in simple words in simple words circulars are binding on circulars are binding on officers not binding on public hello yes or no yes or no school when they give circular it is binding on your teachers it is not binding on the students students can come and say teachers are only responsible i am not responsible you would have seen this example no one circular would have come and said ini mele all pt period will become maths period this is for teachers students can come and object yes or no students can come and say no no i want my pt period i don't want my math period can you object you can object which means circulars are binding on you not binding on you purida puriliya yes if i teach you in the normal way you will not understand example ipo puriyom yes 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 keep it in mind circulars are binding on officers not binding on public not binding on public clarity yes question question go back to the old example go back to the old example where the person who was a cbdt head is the aquarium person is the aquarium person now is it in my favor is it in my favor yes am i able to sell it freely will i come and object do you think i'll go to court and come and say no no why did this person call it as aquarium i don't want it to be called as aquarium will i do that when it is already in my favor will i put my leg into it which means can i use circulars then can i use circulars then yes yes or no yes or no think about it if cbdt has come and told this is an aquarium can you come and say this is not an aquarium 
can you come and say you are the officers can you come and say this is not an aquarium no can i come and say this is not an aquarium yes but can i also come and say this is an aquarium which means power is in my hand power is in my hand too use it or you don't have any powers i have powers purida purilia yes in simple words circulars are binding on officers circulars are not binding on public but public can use it if it is beneficial public can use it if it is beneficial hey po purida hello everyone yes yes this circular is the same in any law ni company la ponalo okay ni income tax la ponalo okay everyone will have circulars every act will have a circulars be careful that circulars are first issued by the board it is issued for officers it is binding on not binding on public can use it if it is purida yes after all what is notification english le irukke english says notification means to notify notify i am trying to notify something now question to you is i am telling rahul rules are there rules came on the first day itself correct ah no it comes over time if you have to change some rules rules also have to change over time immediate ah change aagano now when a rule is going to be changed it will be applicable to it will be applicable to everyone so we need to inform everyone that yes rule is going to change how will you notify by using notifications yes or no yes or no i'll give you a simple example you are coming and saying income tax le return filing due date is 31st july return filing due date is 31st july 31st july correctly covid hit return file panna mudiyala only your problem or everyone's problem everyone will go and do what everyone will go and inform ministry that dear ministry i don't think i can file it on 31st july give me five more days possible not possible now tomorrow ministry has to give you five more days he has to inform everyone in india or only one person he'll do it by circular correct ah huh? he'll do it by by if he gives it by circular what will happen it will only bind on i also need to know so therefore they'll issue it by in simple words notification is binding on both notification is binding on officer and public can public now come and say i don't want it public has to follow public has to follow yes or no yes or no yes or no mcq question for your exam mcq question for your exam circular is binding on notification is binding on both notification is binding on both clear yes now all what can you use notification you can use it for anything extending due dates clarifying something which even public should know notifying a special person or amending a rule anything can be done as long as it is supposed to be binded on the public also it will be done by notifications if it is not supposed to be binded on the public it is done by circulars it is done by circulars clear not clear clear question to you question to you rahul can cbrt come and say something is taxable by way of circular uh, by way of notification sorry act is not coming and saying it is taxable or not taxable cbrt puts out a notification comes and says act is not clarifying therefore i am clarifying it is taxable for public also can they do so can they do so can they do so no why i told you already cbrt does not have power over act act itself is not clear can cbrt make it clear no you cannot introduce anything to the public which is not even in your scope if something was to be made taxable it can only be made taxable by act cannot be made taxable by rules rules are nothing but notifications notifications are coming through rules only so can cbrt come and say this is taxable by notification no can cbrt come and say this is taxable by circular can they say it is taxable by circular yes why because they are only informing their officers they are not informing me so they can come and tell going forward if you see this case make it taxable for everyone yes or no yes or no now i have an opportunity i will come and say boss you tell your officers i am not responsible i will go and fight in court yes or no yes or no which means does cbdt have the power to make something taxable which is not there in the act no because they don't have power they will do it by circulars they will not do it by notifications clear not clear clear i'll give you some cases cases like this in the past currently amendments ala vanduchu earlier and all what happened is something was not clarified 
assessees were coming and claiming everything is not taxable. What happened is certain point of time, courts also started saying not taxable. But it was not final because High Court had not passed, Supreme Court had not passed. In this point of time, what happened is, income tax officer CBDT decided that we will issue a circular and inform all my officer, officers going forward that forget about whether a court is allowing it or not. You say it is taxable. You say it is taxable. They also issued a notification to come and say this is taxable. What did we do? We went to courts and we came and said, I am sorry sir, notification is ultra wise. Notification is ultra wise. Co CBDT has no authority to come and say what is taxable and what is not taxable. They only have an authority to clarify that it is taxable. They, If they want, they could have done it by circular, not by. Since they read it by notification, I am sorry, take it away. Take it away. We filed a writ petition to High Court. We came and told High Court, High Court, I am sorry, this is not right. This is not right. What did High Court say? What did High Court say? High Court said, yes, what you said is right. Delete the notification. Delete the notification. Assume notification is not valid. Forget it off. Assume it is not valid. Income tax got ego clash. Income tax got ego clash. What they did? What they did? Next year, act itself got changed. Next year, act itself got changed. And the act itself, now they brought it. Now can they do it? Yes. Because who is doing it? Parliament is doing it. CBDT is not doing it. Hello. Yes. And because it is ego clash, they put it retrospective also. They came and said, yes, three years back also, we thought that only. Just that we did it by notification. Now I am putting it in. Any nonsense can happen. Any nonsense can happen. Point is, please understand whether something is introduced or not is not prima facie. You need to know whether it is legally valid and all. Yes, just because you tomorrow see something where Modi Sarkar is coming and saying 500,000 is deleted. It does not become deleted. You need to then ask where is it given that it is deleted? Where did you put it? Where did you put it? Did you put it in the act? If he says yes, then it is. If he says a notification, Purida. Yes, because circulars are only for clarifications. Circulars are only for clarifications. Background clear. Yes, yes. This is your loss. This is your loss. In the loss, we had five items. Uh. Howl, what is binding on public? Act is also binding on public. Sendrala question get. I told you this on the very first day of the class. Don't assume. Ask the right questions. Yes, I will keep doing this. I will keep doing this until and unless you learn to ask the right questions. Okay. Don't give me answers unless you are sure. Unless you are sure, you are not here to assume numbers. If you assume your paper, I will assume your marks. So do you want to do that? No. When I ask you a question, see whether the question is complete or incomplete become a CA, do the wrong thing in the right way. Ask the right questions to get the right answers. Yes or no? Yes. If I say what is binding on public, you will say Rahul, it is act, rules, notification, case laws also. Case laws also. Ippo Purida. Rahul, what is binding on officers? All the what is binding on officers? All the five are binding on officers. They also have to follow case laws. They also have to follow act. They have to follow rules. They also have to follow circulars and notifications. Yes or no? Yes. Don't jump to conclusions. Ask the right questions. Ask the right questions. Clear? Clear? Can we close foundation? Can we close foundation? Now at least you feel like, yes, my certificate is deserving. Hey. Yes, sir. Uh, what is it for? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I purposely made it like this because even I don't know what I'm drawing. At the end of the day, I'm an assassin, so it doesn't matter. Ning is another final. Ning is an act of portraying and So, sorry, da? That will come now. People, foundation clarity. Yes, yes. Now you know why a law, what a law. Hello. Yes. Tomorrow, if someone comes and asks you, are you deserving foundation? Now you can come and say, yes. Yes. Now my job is done from law perspective. Now let's me get into my subject called as Polama. Polama. Yes. I will read the subject with you right now. If you don't understand something, you will let me know. As such, right now, what I'm going to read from my subject will be the same as laws. 
just that wherever you heard the word law now you will read the word income tax adha vidyasam adha vidyasam nothing else will change nothing else will change can we can we yes let's read <coughs> chapter number 1 hey no highlighting in the book na sonna highlight pannu na sollana highlight panna kudadu okay no coloring in the book and all keep it with you polama everyone pola yes let's read it says article num hey, show article number 265 of the constitution of india provides that hey everyone has book here anyone without a book get to pay uh, uh people online i think uh, ari sir has informed me that he will send the books to you people in case you don't hear from him please to drop a reminder message just in case he forgets off okay the books are already available he may have to courier it to you so it may take time until then uh, read it from me yes yes let's read let's read let's read let's read it says article number 265 of the constitution of india provides that no tax shall be levied or collected except by an authority of law thus to levy any tax a law needs to be framed by the government here can we patch now every law is categorized into three list as per the seventh schedule to article number 246 you have a union list you have a state list you have a concurrent list union list is all laws made by parliament state list is all laws made by states and concurrent list is all laws made together by both for your syllabus you have three laws one is income tax law as a part of union list agriculture income tax as a part of state list gst as a part of the difference between tax and indirect tax is given to you tax which is levied directly on income is direct tax tax which is levied on price of goods or services is indirect tax burden of tax cannot be shifted to another person book la irukku book la irukku na solala this is not rahul speaking this is icai speaking follow icai pass aganum na icai practical ah ponona rahul seriya yes burden of tax cannot be shifted in direct taxes but burden of taxes can be shifted to another person in indirect taxes burden of progressive in nature is direct regressive in nature is <coughs> examples are given to you income tax and equalization levy indirect taxes gst and customs duty rahul what is equalization levy final level portion final level syllabus we will read it in final level not rahul when you have income tax you also have income tax laws income tax laws are split into 1 2 3 4 5 income tax act income tax rules annual finance act judicial precedents income tax and annual finance act are done by legislative body rules is done by administrative body circular notification is administrative body judicial is by judicial body who is our administrative body it is cbdt full form is central board of direct taxes yes yes coming to income tax act income tax act extends to the whole of for you to start this you need to first know what is let's come down you will find india in page number 3 uh, you will find india in page number 3 section 2 section 2 yaar raha hai section 2 class 25a it is section 2 class 25a read it it says india means territory of india land territorial waters of india meaning 12 nautical miles 12 nautical miles territorial water of india seabed and subsoil underlying such water so i am telling water and under water water and under water then i am saying continental shelf and exclusive economic zone which is nothing but 300 to 200 nautical miles no sorry 13 to 200 nautical yaar ra it is 13 to 200 nautical miles yes so which means in simple words when you talk about india india covers land plus 200 nautical miles water plus 200 nautical miles water and also covers underground and also covers under ground under water any other specified maritime zone and air space above its territory and territorial waters air space is also covered air space is also covered yes or no yes clean definition yes tell me rahul is this an inclusive definition exclusive definition exhaustive definition it's an exhaustive definition it's an exhaustive definition they are coming and clarifying idhukku mele india la edhume varadu don't touch any other place don't touch any other place i am india i am not some other country yes 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 great going back it extends to the whole of india 
contains section 1 to section 298 and schedule 1 to schedule 14 yes now i already clarified to you just because you see section 1 to section 298 does not mean that you only have 298 sections you have almost about 500 to 700 sections because every section has huh hey. every section has section 1 section 1a 2 2a 194 194a and the mari pogo and the mari pogo subsection in the low it does not matter point is section itself has multiple sections section itself has multiple sections don't assume the fact that in exam you will only have 194 you may also have 194a 194b 194c 194d point ergo yes that is how sections are also devised so if you read section level you will have more than 500 sections more than 500 sections yes or no yes then you have all amendments made in income tax is done by annual finance act and other legislations by taxation law amendment act passed by parliament what is this taxation law amendment act this is your ordinance this is your ordinance when you have an ordinance ordinance pass under the kapram will be called as taxation laws amendment act so if you have to make any changes changes will happen by finance act or by an ordinance or by an ordinance ellame purida yes see how fast it is now see how fast it is now ange purinjnala ipo easy a irukku if i would have started with this one no puriyad yes yes next when you have income tax rules income tax rules are devised by cbdt it is devised by cbdt the power to issue rules under income tax act lies with cbdt while act provides for intention of the law the rules provide for administration of the act so what to do will be given in act how to do will be given in rules how do you have a finance bill all finance act or income tax act how does it get passed it starts with a finance bill finance bill is introduced by finance minister and later approved by members in lok sabha then it goes to rajya sabha in rajya sabha it is introduced in second house for second reading rajya sabha has the powers to accept recommend changes or reject then it goes to president president will be taking it for consent consent or assent solta porom avadha adukkumela onnu panna koodadu official gazette once the president gives an assent or a consent it goes to official gazette and then becomes an act when you have an act that act has to be read along with the income tax act that has to be read along with your income tax act for your exams it is finance act very good it is finance act 2023 okay okay read the uh, leave the next three lines we will discuss it later we'll discuss it later when we do chapter number two right now it is not important right now it is not important then you have circulars and notifications both are issued by cbdt then uh, circulars are dealing with specific problems or clarifying doubts regarding scope and meaning so it is dealing with specific problems or is clarifying doubts or is clarifying doubts notification is giving effect to a specific provision of the act for example notifying a person or enabling a rule or enabling a rule yes yes last one please highlight it and keep it important you have two highlighters no this is the important highlighter out of the two highlighters take the important highlighter and highlight this part it is binding 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 only on the department it is binding only on the department assessees can take the benefit if it is beneficial assessee can take the benefit if it is beneficial when it comes to notification notification is binding on both department and assessee it is binding on both department and assessee clear people are we clear yes yes from this whole two pages rahul what is important only the last one is important exam portho rico last one matto is important nothing else is important from exam perspective the items which you read before this is fii is fii for your information it is good to know for you to understand what we are talking about okay from mcq perspective only the last line is important circulars are binding on notifications are binding on both association department now you see a new word called as we will discuss we will discuss this is more income tax specific I, if any other act is there then they'll call it as person they'll call it as person in income tax we call them as why what and all we will discuss we will discuss different fun only yes then you have finally judicial precedence which is your case laws case laws are taken up when there is an ambiguity or issue in the implementation of law the decision of supreme court becomes the law of the land and is binding on is binding on 
whole of India. Any kind of decision of high court is binding on the jurisdictional state unless and until it is overruled by Supreme Court. If Supreme Court has passed a decision overruling this, then Supreme Court becomes final. And Supreme Court becomes final. Until that happens, whatever high court says will be applicable for that respective state. That respective state. Clear? Yes. Yes. This is your foundation syllabus. This is your foundation syllabus. Can we now jump to our subject? Let's jump to our subject. We are reading the act called as Income Tax Act. Very good. We are reading Income Tax Act 1961. Yes. Now you already know how an act looks like. So section number one will talk about short title extent. We already read short title is Income Tax Act 1961. Extent is Watchdog. First, no. commencement hold. I will tell you later. I will tell you later. Right now, I will not tell you. Solta answer one. Okay. I will not tell you right now. I will not tell you right now. Income tax act is section number one. Section number two is definitions. definitions. Do you want to read definitions along with me? No. We will do it as and when we keep doing the syllabus. Syllabus particular mode, in a definition, we will talk it then. Otherwise, if I have to give you definitions, there are almost about 150 definitions. First, to point out. Yes, we cannot do definitions and all. You will not find all definitions in this chapter itself. You will find it in various other chapters. Various other chapters. So, we will not discuss it right now. We will not discuss it right now. Then is, then you have to get to charging section. You have to get to charging section. The charging section of the whole income tax. Yes, that is what our fun discussion for the next three days. Okay. We are moving to page number uh, 5. We are moving to page number 5. Yes, you see the heading. The heading says charge of income tax. The heading says charge of income tax. Now, you see only how many lines? Rahul, up easy. This two lines is three days. This two lines is three days. The moment you complete this two lines, you will complete the chapter also. We will be covering everything pending in this chapter with this two lines. With this two lines. Point is in income tax, the charging section of the whole income tax sits in section number four. Sits in section number four. You will come and ask me, Rahul, why section number four? Why not three? Three has something else. Three has something else. We will discuss. As we progress with four, we will discuss three also. But let's take this minute and let's read the two lines. Let's read the two lines. You already know how to make a law now. Okay, let me correct. You Think you know how to make a law now. Yes. Keeping that, you are going to tell me that Rahul, if I had made this law, if I had made this law, what I did not understand and what should I clarify? What should I clarify? Yes. Think like a CA. Think like a CA. Every line we read right now, you are going to tell me, Rahul, which of the word I did not understand? Which of the word I did not understand and I want some more clarity. I want some more clarity. If you tell me that word, I will give you clarity. If you don't tell me the word, I will assume. You already know. After that, if it come an exam, it's your problem, not my problem. Okay, 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 yes, I am open to discussion, you can tell me every word is important, that's okay, we will discuss, yes, but as long as you miss out something, it's a loss for you, Seriya, Seriya, Padik Lama, Padik Lama, yes, let's read, it says, charge of income tax, income tax shall be charged on the total income which is earned by a person during the previous year at the rates in force and shall be accessible in the assessment year. I am reading it once again. It says income tax shall be charged on the total income earned by a person earned during the previous year at the rates in force and shall be accessible in the assessment year. Two lines. That's all. Rahul, I understood everything. No. Okay. What you did not understand, let me highlight. Pick words. What you did not understand? You didn't understand person. Huh. Rates in force, accessible, assessment year. Mal ail drikha adhanala vena ya. Rahul mal highlight put drikha adhanala irukki pare. Previous year na year previous year. Now unna ka getta. What did I tell you? What you did not understand? अपना पर्सन क्वाइलेट नहीं है ये देखो कुत्ता हाँ आधे मटो माइंड इतना ला यस डू यू वांट प्रीवियस ईयर ओके आई डोंट माइंड नेक्स्ट दैट्स ऑल एवरीथिंग एल्स इज क्लियर 
ஷால் பீனா பண்ணணும் பண்ணணும் இட்ஸ் அ குட் கொஸ்டின் பை த வே ஜஸ்ட் ஃபார் த பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் லாஃபிங் அட் ஹிம் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஷால் இஸ் அ பிக் இஷ்யூ இன் இன்கம் டேக்ஸ் ஆர் எனி லா ஃபார் தட் மேட்டர் த ப்ராப்ளம் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இஸ் வென் யூஸ் த வேர்ட் ஷால் இட் மீன்ஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு டூ இட் பட் சம் ஆக்ட்ஸ் வில் கம் அண்ட் சே யூஸ் த வேர்ட் மே some acts will come and use the word may now the problem which comes is whenever you use the word may does it mean that you have to do it or you may not do it also that is a problem right now what happens is some cases and all what has happened is by mistake the person who made the law used the word may and the people stopped doing it the people stopped doing the same and said sir it's may only no meaning it is my choice to do it or not do it yes or no yes that is when supreme court had to pass some decisions where they came and said boss just because you see the word may does not mean that you should not do it it means that you need to be smart about telling yourself whether it should be done or not done based on the public safety if it makes sense to make it happen purposely then even may shall be called a shall may shall be called a shall ha huh? even may shall be called a shall so may and shall can be interchangeable depending on the facts of the cases yes so what he saying is perfectly right shall irkumode sometimes you can use may also and may irkumode sometimes you can use depends on the facts depends on the facts in this fact it's very clear shall na pay panni da aganum you cannot come and say na pay panna mata so shall means you have to pay next earned rendu onnu da anda charge da anda rendu me onnu da what is charge what is earned let me clarify it right away before i take it forward itself charge and earned is nothing but your uh, article number 265 levied and collected same thing next anything else all clear irukku enna word irukku in irukku the irukku during irukku at irukku earned charge na solliten income tax irukku income tax is clear no hey clear ah sure ah what is income you highlighted total income you didn't highlight income what is income we discuss no income tax laws la laws enna na padichitom tax enna na padichitom income padichoma appo income nu unakku theriyum seri neenga solla na solla poradilla i am only going to discuss 1 2 3 4 5 6 items okay let's start with the easy ones person let's start with the easy one the person what do you mean by a person rahul person is defined under income tax person is defined under income tax they came and defined what is a person because there was a confusion as to who should pay tax yes therefore they defined the person person you will find on the top you have section 2 class 31 we have section 2 class 31 section 2 class 31 comes and says these are the following persons we have we have individuals huf company firm aop boi local authority ajp ajp artificial juridical person artificial juridical person now which ones and all do you know and i don't want to waste efforts you know what is an individual what is an individual any natural person any natural person male considered female transgender lgbtqia plus all considered dogs bye natural then ma'am sorry you told me natural person natural na five senses irukno ma sonna ma oh natural humans okay question to you question to you uh you've seen this uh, shows and all no where uh, there'll be this dog competition uh cute dog running dog uh america's got talent america's got talent ella dog etter varuvaanga parrot etter varuvaanga assume that the person won the prize award won the prize award 50 crore rupees because you showed your parrot and parrot is doing some good job uh money is taxable in the hands of first of all seri adu utru income ah illaya income taxable in the hands of owner of the why did pet, did the owner do something or the pet did everything abdi that is what my question is that is exactly what my question is that is exactly what my question is my question is will the dog or the parrot or the horse pay tax then who will pay tax or will they not pay tax itself the owner will 
Why? In what benefit is he enjoying? What if he uses the money for uh, buying dog food and all for him? His problem, huh? His okay. So animals not considered. Okay, minors. After getting majority considered, up to they are not individuals. Abdiya. Sure. Sure. Hey, how many of you have seen this uh, show called KBC? Khan Banega Kroorpati. Who wants to be a millionaire? Yes. Nowadays, Amitabh Bachchan is doing that show. Yes, and there is this one week which will come. That one week will be called as a uh, kids special. In that, what will happen? Seri, okay. Uh, where are Shota, Numa? You have these uh, famous shows in all the Tamil also, no? DID Mari, Dance India Dance, uh, Indian Idol, Indian Idol Junior Alain Dudu, uh, Indian Idol Junior, uh, Dance India Dance Junior, yes, kids coming, singing, dancing, winning cash awards, uh, income ilia, tax pay panama panagura da, yar pay panapura, they won't, no they won't, 100. Correct. So, who is paying tax now? Are they tedious? Adanda, tedious anda, but they will not deduct everything. Tax you have to pay more than 30 also. Tax is not just 30 percent, it is more than 30 percent. You have to pay sets and surcharge also. Now, the question is who has to pay the surcharge and sets? Minor. So minor is a person, a minor is an individual. Illana may be paper. Nina section lay the Section, what does it say? Section says income tax shall be charged on the total income earned by a person. So earned is by minor. Correct? No. So if you say person individual is a minor, then only he can pay tax. Illana he'll come and say, I am not a person, I'm not gonna pay tax. Is regularity important? Correct, Ra. Yar pay panana. Minor. In my case, it's minor, junior. So minor has to pay. So if minor is paying, then minor is the person. Ananda, minor is a person, not a person. So minor is an individual then. For him to be a person, he has to be an individual. No, where Huh? Exempt and not. He has to pay balance, now guarantee good. Don't assume income tax. Let me do that part. So minor is not paying the tax. Parent is paying the tax. K Kriya Solriya. Agad. Agad. Who is deemed to be an individual? Why do you want to deem him? What is so special to deem him in that? Patta teriliya, individual mari. Ma, you cannot deem him as a person, ma. You can deem him as an individual only. You know, person definition, I want to come still. Are you are pair than a kanga? Are pair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ele pair than a kanga. Out of now, either cover one mile. Definition one is the paris, kill one mile. And then an ana get a. In order to give any cater, an answer than a ma. If I had to answer it, why will I ask? You have to tell me that whether minor is an individual or not. It is an individual. It is an individual. There is no doubt about it. There is no doubt about it. Minor is an individual. Yes. There is nothing about containing majority or not. At the end of the day, he is an individual. My question is whether he should pay tax, whether he is legally liable to pay tax is a different conversation. That we will do in a separate chapter called clubbing of income. But is minor an individual? Answer is yes, 100% yes. In all the KBC scenarios and all, minor will pay the tax, mandatory. Because he has earned all this money from his skills, parent has not got involved. So therefore, he only has to pay tax. Reciprocate the same scenario to the animal. When you go for America's Got Talent and a dog has won the prize because dog has put in his efforts, because dog has done all the uh, jump and the shows and everything. Question, who will pay the tax? Person winning the money is not the owner. 
person winning the money is a dog using the dog <laughs> we cannot okay, it's 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 a little rude to say using the dog that's like uh, fancy english potta nalla poidum fairly yes fairly yes in a case of animals as of now as of now animals are not persons as of now animals is not persons they are not treated as individuals they are not treated as individuals now i'm making it very clear as of now yes with the science development and all going on right now you can never know you can never know because you've seen this movies and all no king versus apes uh, the planet of apes and all movie paathirukinga the planet of apes and all suddenly what will happen one injection you will put and the ape will now become a human i mean he will not become a human but he will become sixth sense and all will come those generations if it comes in likelihood animals may also become persons right now they are not there because right now they don't have the sixth sense to do decisions on their own to do decisions on their own understand the difference in a kbc scenario or indian idol junior scenario the child is making the decision to answer the question yes or no yes but in the other case they are trained they are trained they are forced to do that whether they like it or not whether they like it or not so therefore there is a person getting involved into making that action happen and therefore the individual or the owner of the animal is the one who's enjoying the benefits and the owner has to pay tax therefore any money which is earned by the animal will be assumed to be earned by the owner will be assumed to be the owner and since the owner is an individual he comes under the category of person and since he is a person he has to pay tax yes to pay tax clear everyone yes he can choose not to answer the answer then can you force someone can you force your child to come and say answer option number a or option number b panna mudiyadala yes or no see at the end of the day your parents can force you to go there but your parents cannot make sure that you will get option number a or option number b you if you feel very irritated what will you do even though you know the answer is option number a you will give option number c get exited and come back right away you have done this in the past no your parents will come and say guest vandirukanga konja dance aadtu kudu yes sing a song go dance in front of me yes veetla ella mudra aarambichirum money alone varadu yes yes now you have a choice you have a choice at that point of time hey ocha by the way since you have come to this assuming that you are sitting at home guest have come to your house your parents are coming and saying that uh, guest have come konjo sing a song sing a song you start twinkle twinkle little star amti dumpty sat on the wall ella aarambichitinga ella aarambichitinga child the parent is the guest is also like oh now you are thinking this is not enough this is important so the uh, what do you say what is the name the guest comes and gives you some 100 rupees 200 rupees and comes and says very nice job pa go buy chocolates for yourself go buy chocolates for yourself two questions question number 1 is it an income is it an income should you pay tax why sorry okay this is where my next question is this is where my next question is just because you're paying indirect tax on something do you mean we'll not pay indirect uh, income tax no you don't vera vera law mai eppadi merge panna mudiyum those are two different laws how will you merge each other to whom no yenge padchiya ni yengyo yeng okay let's discuss after camera enak edho bayama irukku veena your family ah illa ah okay let's let's keep it outside i am not asking your name they should not go on camera seriya alla panna kudada illegal adu we will discuss we will discuss yes understand my point is there is nothing related between direct tax and indirect tax gst will be levied separately income tax will be levied separately they have no link to each other they have no link to each other you cannot come and say just because you are paying income tax you will not pay indirect tax nothing works like that because apdi patha ambani will not pay a single rupee tax right now ambani will come and say every time i buy something i am paying indirect tax so why should i pay income tax doesn't work like that different laws don't combine it don't combine it those are two independent activities 
we have nothing to do with income i will never be talking about indirect tax to you in this syllabus at least to start with seria yes anyway coming back to the question the money which you got from your guest in kama illia what is gift in this nitha you danced that's why you got it no if you dance and get it that's not a gift that you have put human efforts now if you do nothing sitting at home and then when they leave they give you something that is a gift yes my question is right now when you danced and you got the money is it an income Mm-hmm. So, so a compulsion to give money is the only criteria based on which some will, will become income. Okay, I'll ask you a question like this. The question is like this: What is happening is you're running an electronic store. Okay, in that electronic store, you are basically a agent of Samsung, right? Now, what has Samsung done is Samsung has come and told, uh, if you sell thousand TVs, you will become my uh, what do you say, super agent. Okay, not that uh, James Bond wala, normal super agent. Yes, what has happened is this year you have ended up selling two thousand TVs. Samsung is very happy with you. Without even you asking, Samsung gave you a free movie ticket and came and said a movie ticket kula hai. Sorry, Goa ticket. They came and said here free Goa ticket because I'm because you have sold two thousand TVs of mine. I'm extremely happy with you. Here is one Goa ticket. Take your family, go for a trip and come back. Question: Why are they obligated to do it? Did you get the ticket? is it an income is it an income yes. should you pay tax how is it different than this one you get my fact my fact is voluntary and involuntary has nothing to do with income tax i don't care i don't care because tomorrow if you come and give such conditions no i can tell everything is not taxable i can come and say every time i doing a service it's not voluntary i was not expecting a money in return right that is the scenario where everyone will start avoiding taxes think from a logical angle logical angle would be in the sense that you will never come and give such benefits because then people will play around with things yes to prove that something is voluntary or involuntary becomes extremely challenging don't give such suggestions which can become a problem for anyone to avoid taxes at the end of the day india wants its budget yes or no yes repeating my question once again guest have given you money for your dance is it an income should you pay tax you are not getting my question properly my question is should you pay tax will you be paying tax no why because the amount is small because the amount is small yes if you were earning somewhere else also this will get added to that and overall you will pay tax right now if you are this is the only income which you have in the current year then yes you may not pay tax because the amount is small that is what is progressive that is what is progressive progressive being the fact that income tax comes and says up to 2 and 1/2 lakhs i don't want any money from you keep it with yourself so if you have not earned anything in the current year and the only thing which you have got from your relatives is that cash will it be more than 2 and 1/2 lakhs it may may not be you don't know assuming it is not what will you do you will not pay tax that does not change the fact that are you liable for tax answer is yes okay Yes. Repeating my question once again, you got the money from your guests' income. Should you pay tax? Will you pay tax? Depends. Depends. Make sense? Yes. Keep that thoughts in mind. Keep that thoughts in mind. I am doing two different things right now. Don't confuse yourself with whether I should pay tax and whether it's an income. First of all, you need to tell it's an income. Then only tax will come into picture. Don't make your decision that tax is not payable. Therefore, it is not an income. Clear? Ah. Clear. Are two separate activities. Two separate activities. I have not even got there. My first question is whether it's a person. Yes. If it is a person only, he can earn income. If he earns income only, he can pay tax. It is from here to here. It is not from here to here. You go from person to tax, not from tax to person. Understand the difference? Okay. Okay. Let's answer the first leg. Whether it's a person. Yes. Yes. Who is an individual? Raul. Individual is any natural human, which includes male, females, transgenders, and everything. It also includes. minors does not include animals as of now as of now in future if there is some changes it may be included which is why if you notice person definition is inclusive definition person definition is an inclusive definition which means here coming and saying if someone else starts acting like this take him inside take him inside follow up question robots
robots again as of now no but yes with this chat gpt and all coming into picture you never know you never know things may become very different on a later stage yes recently only hindi had a very uh, weird movie shahid kapoor and uh, kriti sanan uh, it's it's a very big name it's called teri baaton mein aisa uljha diya some weird movie the movie is about kriti sanan being a ai robot she being an ai robot and uh, you know she having all capabilities of a human all like literally all capabilities they have done all adult scenes in that movie and then with robot yes and they have come and said yes my robot is so advanced that she can do all adult scenes also and the level ke movie yes now imagine a scenario where kriti sanon becomes uh, i mean kriti sanon illa the robot becomes so advanced in the future possible might as well possible you don't know right now they are not there as long as you are writing your exams it is not there maybe something may come differently maybe something may come differently clear yes yes this is your first person which is next is what is hr company the moment you tell company it comes here one second one second profit mandatory yeah? last one the last one the okay charity ka banna yes sorry da do you know that or are you assuming that yenge padcha it's wrong as long as i have not told you it is wrong section 8 companies also pay taxes they have to you learn it in finals not here leave the income tax part to me people i will tell you what is right and what is wrong let's not assume things okay that is one job which i have okay don't give me strong opinions about taxes it may be wrong it may be wrong i am not telling you section 8 companies will always pay taxes but they can pay taxes they can pay taxes it is nowhere written in the income tax act that they will not pay taxes they will pay taxes subject to certain conditions subject to certain conditions final level syllabus final syllabus my point is not there my point is not there my point is if a hindu undivided family does not do a profit or a loss making entity but is more into charitable organization is that still a person where is it given where will you classify them it has to be classified into one of the seven no ma classified in one of those seven my question is if hindu undivided family enters into non charitable uh, non profitable activities will you not to call them as huf or will you still call them as huf bye that is a firm no then that is a firm no have you read anywhere in hindu undivided family where it comes and says the business motive should be there and the profit motive should be there i have read it in firm i know have you read it anywhere in hindu undivided family where they say that the motive should be to earn profits not that i have read of understand if you see the wordings itself it's hindu undivided family that's all so it's just saying a family member coming together at no point of time have they come and clarified that they should earn profits or they should incur losses or they should be doing any kind of business yes even if they are doing a charitable motive it is still good enough to call it as a as long as there are people together as long as there are people together which is where the next question is rahul how do you create an hf yes you got born today are you the hf no you were born today are you the hf then ha ah, so then who made the hf how did they make the hf you understand my question you understand my question now rahul is born in agarwal family yes my question is rahul is born in agarwal family you know there are 5000 agarwals in this world am i a part of that agarwal hf for this agarwal hf for that agarwal hf just because you are born will you become a hf 
I'm asking you not whether you are a member of HF. I'm asking you whether you are an HF. How do you make an HF is my question. Registering whom? In the tax. Whom? HUF. Two or more family. Gen? So, moon is in the mandatory. No, one second. So, you are telling me if three and above people come together and register themselves, then it is HF. Or three or more generations come together and register themselves. Generations. So, father, grandfather, child. Grandfather died. <laughs> Father, you adopt me. Child is not born, uh, married yet. If he, married, if he marries, then only HF will get created. Right now, it will not get created. It is already created. Where? That is ugly. Weird imaginations you people have. It is like comedy, Anana. everyone is so confident. Where? One day, that is tax. Where? One day, that is three generations. Where? One day, that is four. My question was very simple. My question was, how does an HUF get created? Simple, straightforward question. Agreement between whom? Family member. Family member. Business mandatory. Huh? Huh? Okay. Okay. Contract actually achieve in the dilla. Person definition contract actually. Ni party class will do. Okay. HUF is no nonsense. HUF can be created by marriage. Simple. Simple. Two people come together in a marriage bond. They can together create a HUF. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yes. Which means only one condition is important. There should be a marriage sanna. There should be a marriage. There should be a marriage. If two people marry, they can create a HUF. Obviously, yes, they should be Hindu also. They should be Hindu, married, can create a. Then only family, no? How else will you create a family? And the conversation poke Sorry? Three people. Whom do you want to refer to? Male and female is what I would assume. Minor right now is illegal. Earlier it was yes. Male and female is what I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, in today's world it can be other combinations also. But uh, I think right now Hindu Succession Act does not permit those combinations. So as per Hindu Succession Act, the combination is only a male and a female getting married together. Yes. So in simple words, Two people come together, get married, they are eligible to create an HUF on their name. They are eligible to create an HUF on their name. There are a lot of benefits for you to create an HUF first of all. Understand, if you are creating an HUF, you become different from your HUF. You become different from your HUF, meaning what income you earn will be taxed separately, what income HUF earns will be taxed. That is why in India at least HUFs are very famous, very famous at least in Marwadi community. Because what they'll do is whenever they earn income, they will always split that income between self and HF, pay lesser taxes in HF, pay lesser taxes in individual hands. How do you create an HF? Simple marriage will do. Simple marriage will do. Two people getting married can create an HF. What I'm trying to clarify to you is like this. What I'm trying to clarify to you is like this. Understand this very carefully. Imagine that you have a parent. When your mom and dad got married, it's not wrong to imagine. 
Imagine that you have a parent. When mom and dad got married, imagine if they created an HUF. It will be their HUF. It will be their HUF. Today, when you got born, you became a part of their HUF. But today, when you get married, you can open your separate HUF. You can open your separate HUF. Perfectly permitted. The only condition is you should get married. The only condition is you should get married. Makes sense. You are not a part of that HF anymore. You are not a part of Yes. In that scenario, what will happen is you will create your own HF. Unless and until you are married, you will be a part of their HF. But the moment you get married and if you decide to create your own HF, then in that case, you will have an independent HF. They will have an independent HF. Do not confuse yourself with the fact that Raul in one family, there will be only one HF. No. One family itself can have 10 HF depending on 10 family members getting married to 10 family members works 100 percent works the best way to avoid taxes legally hfs just best way to avoid taxes that's my follow-up question we'll come to that right now my question was who can create an hf answer is very simple two people by marriage yes now comes the follow-up question rahul two people came together a mrs a they have now created an HUF called as AHUF. They have created HUF called as AHUF. Yes. Now the question is, Raul, in this AHUF, who and all will be family members? Who and all will be the members? Yes. I will give you people. You tell me whether they are members or not members. Okay. Yes. 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 Rahul. A's father. A's father. No. A's mother. Mrs. A's father. Mrs. A's mother. Why Raul? You created your HF. You created your HF. You are the karta. You are the karta. You can adopt the children. You cannot adopt parents. Yes. So not permitted. Now come down. A has a son. A has a son. A has a daughter. Once again. Ippo Ipodik <laughs> daughter. Sorry? Yes. Yes. Focus, 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 focus. Son marries a girl. Step child. Step child. The moment you legally adopted the um, the moment you married the wife, this child got legally adopted in your family. Those are included. We'll come to that. I'm, I'm, I'm still there on the conversation. My conversation is, you have a son. Son is member. Son married a girl. Girl is member. Hello? Yes. Unless they create a new HF, obviously. Unless they create a new HF. Unless then, it is a separate activity. Yes. Now, daughter, HF, member. Yes. Daughter marries a boy. Boy is member, not a member. Member, not a member. Member, not a member. Not a member. Not a member. Understand. Understand. Understand, understand, understand. Hey. Understand when daughter got married. Hindu Succession Act comes and says when a daughter gets married, she moves to another family. She moves to another family so if she moves to the other family the son the the boy of the daughter is not uh, the husband of the daughter the husband of the daughter is not a part of this family is not a part of this family therefore he cannot be a member he cannot be a member clear clear Raul, the girl and the son gave birth to a son they gave birth to a daughter the daughter and the husband gave birth to a son. Daughter is included. She is still included. Unless until they create an HF, she is still included. Yes or no? No. Daughter. Get my facts. Get my facts. Mr. A decided that he is not happy with one son and one daughter alone he wants to adopt a son he wants to adopt a son yes 
Yes, he wants to adopt a daughter. Yes, the Mrs. A was already married earlier. Mrs. A was already married earlier and had a child. Had a child. Husband has died. Old husband has died. She is now married, Mr. A. She is now married, Mr. A. Son has also come along. Son has also come along. Member, not a member. Member. In simple words, Rahul, how do you become a member of HF? By birth or by bringing into family. It's not by marriage. Daughter also got married. Does not mean that the husband was member. Member of an HF is made by birth or by bringing into family. By bringing into family. Understand, when the son married the girl, she was brought into the family, therefore she is member. When the mystery decided to adopt a child, he was brought into the family, therefore he is a member. When he adopted the stepchild, he was brought into the family, therefore he is a member. When the daughter married an husband, she moved out of the family. She did not bring a member. She did not bring a member. So, husband is not considered. Husband is not Plan considered. Is Suddenly, huh? <laughs> Plan pan la abdiye. Serio. HF will uh, shut down immediately. Partition I don't. Partition of HF will take place and then all the assets of the HF will be transferred to all the members. So what? The moment he marries the Muslim girl, Muslim girl now becomes Hindu. She will have to convert her religion. Obviously, no? that's how Sakshan Hacks works. No? If she is coming into the family, she is now going to become the Hindu of the family. No? He cannot come and say, I will follow my same laws, at least legally. Legally, if she is marrying a Muslim, Muslim will come down. Muslim will, she, she will automatically convert herself and she will now become a Hindu. At the end of the day, what will happen? She is going to stay in this house, so she will have to follow the culture of the house. No? How? Then he will have to exit the house. No? Yes, ma'am. No, no, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second. Daughter's husband, uh, brother, you do realize the age gap, right? How? Family will be complicated. Okay, 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 okay. Coming to the scenario. See, first of all, complicated family. Second of all, even if it happens, it doesn't matter. Because see, understand, Mrs. A was a member of HF, but brother was anyway not a member of HF. No, no, one second, one second, one second, one second. Daughter is getting married to? Aren't they both brother and sister? So what is the challenge? So what is the challenge? Hindu Succession Act does not permit incest relationships. It does not permit, incest relationship is basically marrying your own brother and sister. So incest relationships are technically not legal are technically not legal even if you decide to do all those shenanigans they will not approve it they will not approve it at the end of the day they both are the member of hf how does it matter the daughter was also a member of hf the stepbrother was also a member of hf means the same only means the same only i had all these questions for another chapter we have another chapter coming on the chapter in the kelv kepo okay in the chapter in the summon the Okay, but anyway, I have this policy to send daily uh, memes. Evening Anupra. Evening Anupra. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Evening Anupra. Yes. Your question only. Na Anupra. Yeah, first two, first two normal than I did. Did I put something wrong in the first two? Ah, probably my abhi na arko. Unno prashna agar. Okay. When I'm sending it on the group, I will not put something wrong and send. Adla class le mudshro. Yes. 
understand point is very simple when it comes to hf hf you can become a member see first of all how does hf get created by marriage how do you become a member of hf either by getting born into that family or by bringing into the family that is enough that is enough okay okay yes now now there are something else also in this in hindu and undivided family you would have learned something called two schools of hindu law one is daya bhaga uh, daya bhaga school of law mitakshara school of law theri unla tale mata otra Okay. Okay. When it comes to when it comes to Hindu undivided family, there are two schools of law. One is Dayabaga school of law, one is Mitakshara school of law. There is no difference between both. The difference the difference between both is that in one school of law, they come and say that the moment a child is born into the family, the child is also given the right in the property. The moment the child is born into the family the child is given a right in the property meaning tomorrow if the child decides to leave the family he can take some assets and go he can take some assets and go the second school of law comes and says no the second school of law comes and says unless and until the owner of the family is alive nothing will move to the child nothing will move to the child the day the owner dies the property will transfer to the child yes so the difference is between only the co-parsonary rights the difference is in the co-parsonary rights in dayabaga school of law co-parsoners will not get uh, will get rights the day they are born or the day they are brought in but in mitakshara the co-parsoners will not get any rights unless and until the karta of the family dies the karta of the family dies something for you to just keep in mind it is not there in my book because it is all theory not relevant for exam yes just understand the fact that when it comes to hindu-wided family there are two people one is karta one is co-parsoners karta is the head of the family karta is the head of the family co-parson is everyone else who is a part of hf yes now when i use the word hindu undivided family it is not meaning that it's only for hindus recently off late they have jain undivided family also they have sikh undivided family also sikh na sikh sikh it is sikh sikh undivided family they have also started doing all these things so they are also permitted they are also permitted clear sikh parsi ela unda buddhist law i don't know not heard about it i heard about three i heard about three which is hindu undivided family jain undivided family and sikh undivided family parsi sikh are almost close pagat pagatla da irukanga nanaikira yes so they are almost close so you can consider them also these are the three predominant ones which are there in india which are there in india make sense can we go for yes what are the balance items quickly what is a company a company is a company company is a company registered under companies act we will discuss more about companies in detail when we do the next to next chapter when we do the next to next chapter when we do chapter number three that time we'll come back to this point what i'm trying to make is understand if you have a company the company will pay its own taxes you will pay your own taxes your taxes will not be combined with the company taxes yes this is one other way to save taxes where you can create a company company can have some part of income and pay taxes on their incomes and you can have your part of incomes and you can pay your taxes yes what i'm trying to tell you is that understand every person here is an individual is a in I, separate person is a separate person what this person earns is what he will pay tax on he will not pay tax on other persons he will not pay tax on other persons unless and until a chapter comes into picture which is called as clubbing of income yes what is this chapter we'll discuss on a later day we'll discuss on a later day clear yes next firm is nanda foundation solli thanda firm is two or more persons mandatory business is mandatory or profit is mandatory it's two or more people coming together in order to earn profits business is not mandatory you can also have profession can also have profession two cas coming together will not do business they will do profession so in that case that is also fine but they are also called as a firm so two or more firm, two or more people coming together in order to earn profits in order to earn profits acting on his own capacity or on behalf of someone else and the mari edo padchom yes that is a firm that is a firm understand when you use the word firm you also include l l full form is same as firm just that the liabilities become limited just the liabilities become limited fii liabilities are limited only in llp act 
liabilities are not limited in income tax act income tax will come and say you have unlimited liability even though you are an llp even though you are an llp i can come and take over your assets from your home also doesn't matter as long as i want my income tax i will take it from wherever i want i don't care whether you are limited or unlimited i don't care i don't care clear yes individual you don't have a separate legal identity right so whatever you earn will be categorized as individual for you Polama, yes, what is the next person? Full forms. Any idea? Any idea, full forms? No, it is called as association of persons, body of individuals. Association of persons, body of individuals. Again, same thing is happening. Two or more people are coming together. Intention to earn profits is not important. Intention to earn profits is not important. Mm -hmm. If two or more people are coming together to do an activity, if two or more people are coming together to do an activity, it is called as AOP. It is called as AOP. Two or more individuals are coming together to do an activity, it is called as BOI. It is called as BOI. The only difference between AOP and BOI is that if it is only a group of individuals, it is BOI. If it is a group of individuals plus someone else also, then it is AOP. What is someone else? Everyone else. Today you decide that individual, company, firm, all together will come and do something. It is AOP. Today you decide four CAs coming together to do something. No. Again, ask yourself, are they doing profits or not? If they're doing profits, it's a firm. If they're not doing profits, it is AOP. Uh, BOI. It is BOI. Clear? Hello. Rahul, ICI is ICAI is You're not a charity monitor, can you? Who told you that? Aptia? You're not a fees paper. You're not a charity. 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 Who told you ICI is charitable organization? Nothing, no shit. Nothing about that organization is charity. It's a clean cut profit making entity. It's a clean cut profit making entity. ICAI forms under BOI. ICAI forms under BOI. Understand no, very carefully. Tomorrow when you qualify, you will be called as a... You will be called as a member of ICI. You will be called as a member of ICI. Today, right now, I am a member of ICI. So, all chartered accountants, including me, are the members of ICI. Technically, we are the owners of ICI. Technically. Technically, we are the owners of ICI. We all have come together to make a decision. The decision is to do accounting services. Is to do accounting services and to grow the accounting practice in India. Yes, we are doing with a purpose. We are doing with a purpose. I am not telling you my intention is to earn profits. It is happening separately, that's a different story. But my intention was not to earn profits. My intention was to grow the accounting practice. Grow the accounting practice. I am a BOI. I am a BOI. Clear? Clear? Yes, ICSI. What is ICSI? Full form? Full form Institute of Institute of Company Secretaries of India. ICI is Institute of Adena. Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, Institute of Company Secretaries of India. Uh, one more is? It is ICMAI, Institute of Cost and Management Accountants of India. I don't know if you are aware about it. Earlier, almost about a year back, even ICMAI was called as ICAI. There were two ICIs, ICAI, ICAI. Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, Institute of Cost Accountants of India. Confusion, buying reminds you. Yes, then ICI put a complaint on High Court. ICI went and put a complaint saying, Nanda first one, Nanda power which are going to talk to you. Yes, High Court co or complaint put it. We went and we informed ICAI CA, uh, CMA that we don't want you to be called as ICI. You don't have any confusion, you don't have any confusion. Yes, High Court approved it and came and said, yes, CA are superior. Ask them to change it. That is when ICAI CMA became ICMAI. I see, MA, some background. Yes, we do not agree with other two. Yes, if you notice, I don't know for those who are doing multiple courses and all, 
CA uh, sorry CMA and CS will talk to each other will talk to each other talk to each other in the sense that neenga CMA clear pantingna CS la konja exemption kadaikum neenga CS clear pantingna CMA la konja exemption kadaikum neenga ange enna vena clear panikonga ICI la onnu kudukka matanga nothing will be given to you nothing will be given to you nee CS qualify aagnalo okay you have to write all the papers in CA nee CMA qualify aagnalo you have to write all the papers of CA nee CA ellame qualify aagnalo you have to write all the papers there we don't agree namakku edho or and timir irukku yes we all three are professional courses but ca comes and says i don't want to talk to other two i don't like those two and the mari da scenario and the mari da scenario no one cares about them yes are they they two are combined cs says i will give exemption for cma cma says i'll give exemption for ca i say othu matam like i don't want any exemption i'm not giving exemptions i think you don't take classes properly i don't think you give subjects properly i don't think you give marks also properly i cannot trust you for my subjects subjects ellame same ah da irukum irundhalum thirupi ellum fun only yes uh, i don't know karthik is a cs i think uh, karthik is a ca plus cs i am ca plus uh, cs inter final ena mudichu i'm still pending finals for 5 years now so not that i'm writing edho 5 years la endil irukar raul illa stop panta bora actually cs course is very pathetic anyway moving forward we have something called as local authority local authorities hmm all your municipalities all your municipalities appo raul municipality are paying taxes yes yes they are paying taxes they are paying taxes not on everything not on everything if they are collecting government taxes they are not paying taxes if they are doing anything other than government taxes they are paying taxes more discussion of this forward we will do forward we will do next break english help me understand artificial means something which is not natural ah uh. uh. which is made by law it's made by law artificial juridical person is a person who is made by a law who is made by a law if the law makes it then it is ajp then it is ajp examples raul for example company gets liquidated company gets liquidated you have to appoint a you have to appoint a liquidator you have to appoint a liquidator what is the liquidator's job he will sell all the assets and get money yes question liquidator is working for the company he is working for the court yes is he working in his capacity no he is working in company capacity in that case we decide that the liquidator whatever money he earns will be in the form of ajp in the form of ajp because he is not doing it as an individual capacity he is not doing it in company capacity he is only doing it because court asked him to do it therefore whatever income he earns will be called as income from ajp income from ajp clear is one of the examples one of the examples nari examples irukka and mari you can have many examples like that okay okay ipo person clear ah na ungalku appe sonna bore adikkom ana panni da aganum Ah, what next do you want to learn? Smala murchala ma. Yes, smala murchala. Let's discuss about what is this previous year and what is this assessment year. What is this previous year and what is assessment year? One more thing, two automatic can be done. Yes, yes, we'll do that and then we'll close for the day. Okay, balance items time ago. Kandipa. Balance items is what? Rates and force next chapter. So rates and force next chapter. மிச்சம் இருக்கிறது ரெண்டு ஐட்டம் விச் இஸ் டோட்டல் இன்கம் அசிஸ்டபிள் டோட்டல் இன்கமே ரெண்டு நாள் கிளாஸ் ஆமாம் ஆமாம் கண்டிப்பாக வரும் வரும் யூ வில் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ராவுல் இன்கம்னா ஈஸியாக தானே இருக்கும் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா வாங்க எஸ் லெட்ஸ் டூ திஸ் திங் கால்டு ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் அண்ட் அசஸ்மெண்ட் இயர் ப்ரீவியஸ் இயர் அண்ட் அசஸ்மெண்ட் இயர் ஐ லாஸ்ட் அ சிம்பிள் கொஸ்டன் லாஸ்ட் அ சிம்பிள் கொஸ்டின் வாட் ஆர் வி பேயிங் டாக்ஸ் ஆன் வாட் ஆர் வி பேயிங் டாக்ஸ் ஆன் இன்கம் மீன்ஸ் not general definition revenue minus expense apdi thana padichirukinga income means revenue minus expense question kekkara question kekkara rahul today i sold a book to you today i sold a book to you this is my revenue this is my revenue will i pay tax on this will i pay tax on this no why because this is my revenue i need to reduce expense iniki aidu will expense also happen today it will happen tomorrow it may happen later also yes or no which means if i have to find out my income can i find it on one day 
I need to find it over a period. My period is one year. Yes or no? Yes, my period is one year. Yes or no? Yes. Now my question is, Rahul, when will you know the income? Will you know on first April of the year? Fifth April of the year? First August of the year? Tenth August of the year? Second February of the year? Thirty-first March of the year? Or first April of next year? When will you know? You know it on 31st March, 12 o'clock in the night only know. Which means it is 1st April of next year. So, whatever you want today, whatever you want today, you know you have earned revenue. You are also going to incur expense. Total will become income. Which you will only know when you do 1st April of next year. Hello. Yes or no? Yes. Now, tell me. When did you know your income? First April of next year. When will you assess your tax? First April of next year. When will you pay your tax? First April of. Up of what is that year called as? Correcta. 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 Yes. Assessment year is the year in which you will assess your tax. Assessment year is the year in which you will. For the income which is earned in. Yes. Yes. Rahul. Finance Act 23. Is for the income which is earned in. Is for the income which is earned in. 23. 24. For which you will know the income in. You will pay tax in. 24. 25 is. 23. 24 is. Yes, yes, yes. Assessment year is the year in which you assess your income and pay your tax. Previous year is the year in which you earn your income, which is going to be paid tax. Correct, 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 correct. Rahul, the whole income tax is not written in previous year terms. The whole income tax is written in assessment year terms. The whole income tax is written in assessment year terms. Meaning, meaning, meaning. If you are looking at Finance Act 23, if you are looking at Finance Act 23, Finance Act 23 will have amendments for assessment year 24, 25. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Finance Act 23 will come and say, yes, you will earn income in previous year 23, 24, for which you will pay tax in 24, 25. So, Finance Act 23 talks about assessment year. Rahul, Income Tax Act was introduced in 1961 for assessment year. Therefore, rules is in. Yes or no? Yes or no? Rahul, was there a one-year gap? No. It was from 62 because assessment year is 62. Logic Purida, Logic Purida, Ella the Gme Rik reason. Your Singh Navarro, your Singh Navarro. Yes or no? Yes or no? Please be careful about this. Please be careful about this. What you are going to learn going forward with me, what you are going to learn going forward with me is always in assessment year. Assessment year 24, 25. Starting today till the end of the batch. Till your November exam, there is only one assessment year for you, which is assessment year. We will going forward not be discuss anything about 23-24. Nothing. Because the moment you say 23-24, my assumption is it is assessment year 23-24, which means it is previous year 22-23. Answer ange poyno. Because for which that is Finance Act 22. Ning ena padi 23. Adik assessment year is previous year is 23. 24. Correcta. Correcta. That is the confusion which everyone has. That is the confusion which everyone has. Your parents will always have this confusion. Yes. They will come and say, Rahul, I work from April to March 24. April 23 to March 24. Anna, I'm return file panamo, the assessment year 24, 25. They are like, Rahul, and the version, no, I'm You need to tell them that, yes, because that is the year in which you are going to pay the tax. That is what is looked at. Hey, income tax, are they more interested about your income or are they more interested about your tax? 
and for them tax will only come in so therefore they will only look at therefore all drafting will happen in clear clear logic for you yes 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 which is why income tax is 1961 because it is with effect from 1962 now i'll answer you section number 1 comes and says income tax act 1961 will come into force from 1st april 1962 Now, Act 1961 will come into force. 1962 will come into force because 1962 there means assessment year 62, 63. Correcta, correcta. Yes, don't get confused. Don't get confused. Whenever you read a finance act, if you read a finance act 2023, open money part, na it will come and say this is with effect from 1st April 24. And you say Rahul 23 ko first effect 24 solra na next year lendo na aaram ikko. It is for the 23, 24 because the assessment year is 24, 25. because assessment year is 24 25 clear 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 hello hello yes i'll ask you a question tell me if this english is right tell me if this english is right my english says current previous year My English is current previous year. Is this English right? Twenty three to twenty four. Previous year coming. Huh? Maybe this year previous year. Yes. Twenty three. So you see, it's in. What is your current previous year? Twenty two to twenty two. Twenty two to twenty two. First of all, is this English right? Is this English right? Yes. Okay. What is your current previous year? It is twenty-three twenty-four. Hey, for your exam, what is previous year? For your exam, what is your previous year? Twenty-three twenty-four. Where are you right now? In twenty-three twenty-four. Therefore, you are in. Hey, correct no. Correct no. You are currently in twenty-three twenty-four. Earning income for twenty-three twenty-four. For you, this is your previous year. Which means you are in current previous. Am I saying something wrong? Clear, clear, clear. Think about it. Think about it logically. See, I know, I know, what you are earning right now. You will pay tax in twenty four, twenty five. So twenty four, twenty five is going to be your assessment year. Which means currently it is your previous year. Currently it is your previous year, and you are still already in the year. Which means it is your current. Hey, yes or no? Yes or no? If you are in that year, then yes. If you are not in that year, see, if I am in fourth April twenty four, what are you in now? If you are on fourth April twenty four, what are you in? You are in assessment year. In that case, it is your current previous year. What is it then? That is your previous year now. If you are in previous year, standing in previous year, earning income for previous year, which you are going to pay tax in assessment year, that is your current previous year. Yes or no? Yes or no? My question is very simple. My question is very simple. For your exams, for your exams, this is your previous year. For your exams, for your exams, this is your previous year. Until thirty-first March gets over, you are still in your previous year. You are still in your previous year. So this is your previous year for which you will pay tax in assessment year. For which you will pay tax in assessment year. Now my question is very simple. Twenty-three twenty-four is the previous year for twenty-four twenty-five. Can I say that twenty-three twenty-four is the assessment year for twenty-two twenty-three? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. The same year can be a previous year also. The same year can be an assessment year also. How round? If you earn income in that year, that is your previous year. If you pay tax in that year, it is your. That's all is the logic. That's all is the logic. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Now understand this very carefully. When it comes to income tax, income tax comes and says Rahul, year only means financial year. Year only means financial year. Meaning income tax only permits April to. March income tax does not care about anything else. 
you may have done your foundation accounts you will do your inter accounts they will come and say jan to december july to june no matter what no matter what income tax porto or account there is only one year which is rahul i am maintaining my books from jan to december what am i supposed to do income tax says change books if you cannot change books make new books keep two different books one book for your accounts one book for your income tax but i don't care i want april to march i want april to march clear 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 once again your previous year is your assessment year is clear yes which means if i have to write it in year terms if i have to write it in year terms i will come and say first april 23 2 assessment year is meaning awesome this is how your previous year and assessment year will look like this is how your previous year and assessment year will look like no doubts no doubts can we go a little step further one step further question rahul it says first april 23 to 31st march 24 period of 12 months period of Twelve months. Rahul, previous year will always be for twelve months. True or false? Previous year will always be for twelve months. True or false? False. Why false? The company started in the middle of it, so that time previous year will be less. Right? Very good. Ask yourself a question. Previous year is what? The year in which you? If company itself got incorporated in August. will you start from april you will start only from in that case previous year can be so if i am coming and saying rahul that my company was incorporated on 8th august 2023 tell me my previous year 8th august my previous year number terms first is 23 24 my assessment year is date Hmm. Follow-up question. Rahul, assessment year will always be for twelve months. True or false? Yes. Doesn't matter. For your current year, assessment year is twelve months or not twelve months? my question again previous year will always be for 12 months true or false can be for lesser can it be for more no it cannot be more than 12 months can it be lesser than 12 months assessment year will always be for 12 months yes because assessment year porto rico you just have to pay tax in that year that has nothing to do with your income that has nothing to do with what you are that has nothing to do with what you are so assessment year will always be for 12 months assessment year will always be for 12 months you may come and ask me raul what if in next year the company shuts down it doesn't matter it doesn't matter like i told you right now the liability is always unlimited even if you shut down it doesn't matter they'll come and say boss you are alive in 23 24 pay tax and then only shut down pay tax and then only shut down raul what if i die they will take it from a legal guardians but they will collect it they will collect it the assessment year will not change the assessment year will not change meaning assessment year will always be for previous year can be less than 12 months also can be less than 12 months also any doubt all clear perfect up purinjadu sure seri rahul can previous year be for one day can i say my previous year 23 24 is 31st march 24 I'll ask you a question. Let me give you an example. You tell me what the answer is. Let me give you an example. What the answer is? My example is like this. You are right now uh, CA inter. CA inter. I'm assuming most of you are not earning. So right now your income is. Right now date is. Twenty second February. Assume for the next one month also you do not earn anything. You do not earn anything. Thirty first March. Thirty first March. What is happening is you are right now on the road. 
yes going back to your home going back to your home you are going on the road and suddenly what happened is you found on the road something called as a you found something called as a lottery ticket yes now you know your luck so what you did you threw it away you know your luck you like jeep pay kuda kuduk matikara lottery avaro enake yes so you threw it away and you went home you went home but somehow what happened is you had gone through the lottery ticket you have seen what it is you have seen what it is when you were sitting at home and you were sitting at home going to take a rest going to take a rest your parents were watching the tv and luckily or unluckily what happened is the channel of lottery is open the channel of lottery is open the numbers are being declared now you are not interested because you know you're not going to win you know you're not going to win you're getting to sleep but what happened is somewhere your ears are there you are hearing out the numbers you are hearing out the numbers the number starts 8 25 43 something strikes you engeyo paatha mari irukku inge paathinga adu uttu vandha lottery yes 8 25 43 37 28 number vanduchu yes now you think hard you think somehow i've seen this number you still know your luck but you still take a chance you decide to immediately jump out of bed go run back and find the lottery ticket now you know what your luck exact movie scene is going on the place where you found the lottery ticket earlier is now not there yes always you went to the same place where the lottery ticket was there now it is not there now it is not there what will you do uttriya uttriya 50 crores lottery ma sorry da ah so you went and you were searching everywhere you went and you were searching everywhere suddenly what you notice is there's a big horn which is honking on the front you realize that it was the trash can the uh, trash car it was a trash car and somehow it strikes you oh maybe this person has maybe this person has cleaned the place right now you immediately run to him immediately run to him and you come and say sir ipo da clean panningla he is like yes pa ipo da clean panna sir ange or lottery ticket indirukom paathirukingla he is like lottery ela theriyadha pa clean pannita ella dump la irukku la dump la irukku what will you do as cheap as you are you would have jumped inside yes so you jumped inside the whole dump you found some six seven lottery tickets you found some six seven lottery tickets luckily that day was lucky for you you found that ticket also you found that ticket also now you don't remember the numbers because you were in a hurry so you went back home once again you went and asked your mom mom what was the numbers she also does not remember so you touched google in google it came 8 23 38 43 27 27 now you look at the lottery ticket 8 23 48 38 27 43 37 matter 38 aachu now you are extremely angry you are extremely angry you now tear the set, uh, ticket itself ivlo kashta patta illa kaandaachu you tore the ticket off but what you did not realize is you got six more tickets and one of the other tickets was the winning ticket one of the other tickets was the winning ticket happy ending at the end of the day point what happened is you went and you took the lottery ticket went to the lottery guy showed him the ticket got your 50 crores got your 50 crores on 31st march 2024 question tell me what is your previous year what is your assessment here you tell me this we close for the day what is your previous year what is your assessment here i want the previous year assessment here and the dates Kriya, sol you tell me what is your previous year, what is your assessment here? Ah, Bank account transfer. Hey, quickly, quickly, quickly. Give me a date. <coughs> 
the rate is see you keep waiting i keep waiting you don't go home i also don't go home i am getting paid by the r you are getting wasting time previous year is 23 24 20 24 25 give me the rates 31st march 24 2 Ah, so 2, 2 31st March 24, is everyone okay with this, is everyone okay with this, anyone thinks this is wrong, I think this is wrong, I think this is wrong, it looks weird no, from and to is the same date. It looks wrong. From and to is the same date. Yes. Anyone? Anyone in my favor? Raul, we want to go with you. You can't do that. income That's what I told you. No. How? You have to be my whole date calculator. Sorry, company is not enough. Company is not enough. Yes, yes, yes. Anyone in Rahul's favor saying this is wrong? Why? Suma Rahul is not enough. Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? From Jan 1st, you have something. Achha, that is in Companies Act, where Companies Act comes and says if companies incorporated after January, then the three months will be accumulated to the next year. Companies Act. Lerke. Yes, only two people, huh? majority. Today, he didn't buy it, no, he bought it on the road. He found it on the road, he didn't buy it. Depending on your love, you will never buy. Yes, tell me quickly, let's close. Huh? Anyone in my favor? Only two people? Everyone else is saying this is right. All in favor, huh? Wrong, Ocha. You are coming in my side, no? Okay, fine. Uh, slowly. You know, Anjaminsha, wait for an LRO on the ring. Konjacha convince for an Rahul, Konjo convince for an LRO on the ring. Yes, uh, three now in my favor. Vera. Vera. All in Rahul's favor, raise of hands. Uh, Patya, Anju. Uh. Vera, Vera. Yes, obviously. Tamil Nadu na solo veli hai. Next, five people now. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 15. 16, 19, 22, 25, 28, 31, 34, 35 are there. 6 acha, Patiya. I am telling you, no, wait for the update. Huh? Yes, 6 out of 35 in my favor. Anyone online in my favor? Raise your hands. 7, 7, 8, 9. All online is saying my favor only. What to do? What to do? Answer good to Jama. Ila Nalik Baklama. Hey, Nalik Baklama. This is right. This is right. I told you very clearly previous year cannot exceed 12 months, can but can be less than 12 months. At no point of time did I clarify a minimum limit. I only clarified a maximum limit which means it can be as small as one day also one day also you will come and ask me Rahul why can we not push it to next year ask yourself a question I told you income tax is coming and telling you have to pay tax every financial year if you come and tell me that Rahul no this has to go to next year then you will tell that Rahul my previous year starts from 1st April because it cannot go more than 12 months 
So we will say it will start from 1st April or 24th and I will come and say I will not pay tax because I did not earn anything from 1st April or 24th. I only earned it in 31st March of 24th. So I will go to income tax department and come and say dear sir, I am sorry, I will not pay you single rupee tax because it is not earned in the previous year. Your previous year is starting from 1st April 24th which is not my previous year and therefore I am not going to pay you single rupee tax on this 50 crores. Will income tax department let you go? No. Department wants every rupee which is possible every rupee which is possible. So department came and said I do not care you call it one day or half day also. It is previous year and therefore you have to pay me the tax. You have to pay me the tax. Yes or no? Yes. Summarizing it once again. Rahul previous year is the year in which you assessment year is the year in which you assess the tax. Assessment year is the year in which you assess the tax. Previous year may or may not be for 12 months. It cannot be more than 12 months but can be even small as how will it be less than 12 months if you are incorporated in the same year or born in the same year? If you are incorporated in the same year or born in the same year. Hey, understand Rahul, company incorporated on 8th August. This year, previous year is 8th August in the starting. Next year, what will happen? It will start from 1st April itself. Understand the moment you got incorporated, previous year remains the same. There is no criteria that you should earn income. As long as you are alive, previous year is right. As long as you are alive, previous year is right. Yes or no? Yes. So, if I am saying how my business was incorporated in the current year, my previous year will start from that date. If my business is already running, I am not earning anything. Still assessment year, previous year will start from 1st April. It will start from 1st April. Yes. So, it will only change in the first year. It will only change in the first year, the year in which you incorporate or year in which you are born. Year in which you are born. Assessment year will always be there for 12 months. It cannot be lesser than 12 months. It cannot be more than 12 months. It will only be 12 months. It will only be 12 months. Clear? Everyone? Yes. No doubts? All good? Great? Yes. With this, we are also done with those items as well. Now, the only thing which is left is total income and end item under the pending that we will do in the next class tomorrow. Next class tomorrow. My request, we have already completed page number 1, page number 2, page number 3 and uh, assessment year and previous year assessment year and previous year i want you all to read this much and come for tomorrow's class okay yes the one which we discuss right now is in the green box is in the green box i want everyone to be reading all these things before you come for tomorrow's class we will be asking questions once again on this yes yes thank you people have a good day